what is going on. Like, some people say they don't like Mondays. We are having the best Monday I can remember. It's almost like a Friday. That's how it feels. We're having so much fun. And do you know why? It's because it's a launch delicious Monday here uh, on Crafters TV. That is why. We had that incredible Nature's Garden launch a little bit earlier today. And we have got a brand new launch in this show as well. I'm going to let Sari get right into it. So I'm just going to really quickly share something else with you because I'm worried it's going to sell out. The out of this world deal. It is uh, the Monday mega deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's tomorrow. The Monday Mega Deal is this gorgeous collection of Centura Pearl. It's awesome. You're saving 25%. However, uh, a lot of the stock has gone already. I think it is going to sell out. A quarter of the stock has gone. It is your Monday Mega Deal. Uh, but, of course, the launch is all about the brand new craft kit. It is amazing. It has been so incredibly busy. There's so much in here. You're going to get full video tutorials as well. You're going to make at least 24 cards. You've got hundreds uh, of elements and everything that you need. Get your order in. If you're in the UK, it's your first chance to get your hands on this. $24.99 in the UK, $24.99 uh, if you are in the US. We're going to have a really busy show. Why have we had such a big reaction uh, to box number 30, do you think, Sarah? And also, what a terrible introduction. Sarah's here with me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Everybody already knew Sarah was here because <laughs> we told you earlier it's a double Sarah day. Uh, yes, Joe, it's not that we've just had a big reaction to box number 30. We have a big reaction every month when we launch our newest box. Now, here's the thing, right? I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of pressure on us here at Crafters Companion to get bigger and better every month, okay? And I would say for about the last 12 months, we have literally gone from strength to strength to strength to strength. Now, this is box number 30. How many of you have been in the programme with us since box number one? How many of you have been trying to fill in the odd boxes that they are missing? Let me tell you, 29, 28, 27, 26 and 25 have all sold out runaway successes within a couple of days. Literally a couple of days. We had to send to America to bring in all of their excess stock of whatever they had of any box uh, ready for birthday week. And every time we do one of these, it is crazy. I'll be really honest, Joe. I totally pulled rank on this. This was in our, this arrived in our warehouse last week and I wasn't around to do the show. And I made them take it off the show and make them wait for my show and I did. Sorry, because you minx. I know because I really wanted to do the launch so much because these are the best value. Now, here's the thing. I want you all to buy two, right? You've got to buy two because this is something, one for you, one to give as a gift. If you know anyone getting into craft, this is, I mean, I say this about every one of our boxes is a perfect gift, but this more so than any other one because it covers all the disciplines. We've got embossing and stamping and die cutting all in one. Maximum number of cards we do with 24 cards in envelope. So even if you just make the cards in the kit, that's a pound or a dollar a card. And that's not even taking account those of you who were like platinum or gold and are getting a discount on top of that. But it's like a pound or a dollar a card, plus you are getting dies, embossing folders, stamps that are going to live on forever. So can I go straight into it, Joe? Absolutely. So you're exactly what's in it. You right. go for it. Come on. So first of all, right, as you alluded to, Joe, all of these, our Craig records fabulous videos with loads of tutorials. So everything I'm going to show you today, those are my demos and ideas. Craig's done his ones as well that you can go and watch all of his. So loads of support right out the gate okay as you open it up i mean there are thousands of you in the subscription here okay thousands of you in the subscription already so you'll have yours already arriving i know we don't offer the subscription in the uk anymore we aren't able to do that so those of you in the uk who are waiting push the button now gotta get it gotta get it we've already pre-sold hundreds before we've got to the show okay now open it up it's a wonderful gift if you are giving it as a gift and people are unwrapping with the tissue paper absolutely fabulous right now it's the fact that everything works and combines together so i'm going for a lovely springtime feel because for all i know it's christmas at the moment you're not going to be thinking christmas when you get this so this is the color scheme and if i bring out the um the papers and the colored cardstock that match you can see the lovely colour scheme that we're going with. Joe, if you were just to buy the paper pad alone, to buy the paper pad and the coloured card, you'd probably be talking a tenner, right? So there's, there's more than a third of your box. Then you've got all the ribbons and embellishments to go with it, okay? Now, in terms of your extras, we've done this lovely 
cut and emboss folder so this is what i'm going to be showing you okay so where you've got this can you see it lifts the but you know you know i'm a fan of a butterfly wing lift jaw it's got the butterfly because it's got the die cut built into the base here and for those of you who have our gemini mini it is no accident that this will fit exactly through your gemini mini so everything today is designed to work through that mini so if you are buying this as a gift for someone who doesn't craft get them the box and the mini and they get let me tell you in here alone 50 pound 50 dollars worth of stuff so Whoa. double the value as to what you're paying so that is absolutely amazing okay you've then got these lovely stamps now let me just tell you we've done a lot of wreaths recently wreaths are massively popular in it so we've done this gorgeous wreath but then also these semi wreaths so that for example joe if you're wanting to do nice simple elegant cards like this or you're wanting to do the semi reads look how beautiful these are to be coloring or even using two of these combined in conjunction like this they honestly are wonderful designs to color with you know i'm a little bit obsessive about my coloring okay so those are going to be perfect so you've got the lovely reads in the stamps then we've also got little mini set of dies that are going to die cut the little fiddly bits you know the little mini butterflies and everything like that instead of you having to do those and cut them out yourselves we've given you the dies for all of these right so there's your stamps and dies to go with your embossing folder then we've done you uh, 24 cards and envelopes in all of your different base sizes of your cards and envelopes as well and a pack of stamping card now look at this a pack of stamping card this size jaw the stamping card alone that would run eight? you so that's eight by eight wow. that would run you another what seven eight pounds dollars or whatever easily so if you're just thinking of stocking up on your stamping card on your background card stock on your cut pack of card and envelopes 24 cards and envelopes in the sort of sizes you'd be looking what seven eight pounds easy for easily. just those so when you add up the value and the only reason for those of you who kind of don't watch all the time and maybe don't get this the only reason we can afford to do these at such a ridiculously low price is because we make so many tens of thousands of them we have them shipped all over the world we have tens of thousands of people in our subscription all over the world we bring a small amount here to our global fulfillment center for one-off purchases so most if you're in the subscription yours will either have already landed or be landing on your doorstep right now if you aren't in the subscription but want the one-off purchase quite often with a lot of these they have sold out on the day so you've got to get them on the day and there's no catch there's no catch to this the reason we do these at such incredible value is for a lot of people this is the way to dip your toe into the water and try something crafters companion a whole box 50 pound 50 dollars worth of stuff as a minimum with all of the ideas the cards and envelopes everything to get you going and make the most beautiful cards and for a lot of people joe it's just sometimes you're a little bit stuck for ideas and you say oh where, where can i start today take one of those boxes off the shelves you've got all those videos to watch all the ideas to go for and you can sit and create beautiful beautiful things let me know in the comments if you are already in the subscription if you've had yours delivered and i'm going to get ready for my first demo i'm going to make that lovely card with the gorgeous butterfly lifting wings to show you how easy it is awesome uh i was about oh. You know what's happening again, don't you, Sarah? I was meant I to know. say, I was meant to say, a fifth of the stock has gone. I was meant to say that about four and a half minutes ago. In that time, we are now at a quarter of the stock gone. This is going to be really popular. I'll level with you guys, right? We produce a finite amount of these, is what obviously happens. And then they go into the subscription uh, box. And basically, what's left, we're able to get our hands on. And we, of course, bring it straight here to you guys at Crafters TV. And you get first bite of the cherry. When it's a super popular one, like I know this one is going to be, it's not about the first bite of the cherry. It can often be the only bite of the cherry because we're not going to remanufacture these. So we can't if, afford to. No, absolutely. So if you want to get your hands on it, if you want to complete the collection, if you want to make sure you don't miss out, then you need to go for it right now. $24.99, whether you're in the UK or you're across in the US, which is awesome. Remember, you're gonna make at least 24 cards, full video tutorials in there, 20 pounds or $20 if you are a platinum member also, so the value gets even better. Remember also, something else that we're big about here at Crafters TV, we can, if you want us to, take your money for the box, but then send the box to someone else as like a bit of a care package for a crafty friend. I know because obviously a lot of this year uh, here in the UK, we're on uh, back on a, a lockdown. So it means that a lot of us are not gonna actually get to see people face to face in order to exchange gifts 
You don't have to worry about that here at Crafter TV. We can send you the bill and we could send them this craft box. And I think that's uh, what Sarah was getting at. She said about making sure that you're getting a couple of these. If you want to order right now, get yourself over to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Click shop the show and you'll see absolutely everything. Uh, Sarah is like a coiled spring over there waiting to do that first demonstration. I'm going to whiz through a few other bits that are coming up in this show that I know you guys are going to adore. Sharon Callis. She is one. She is one of the funniest women in crafts. She has me in <laughs> stitches. This woman. She can tell a story like no other. She can also design some gorgeous products for you as well. And that's what we've got here: butterflies and blooms. If you love florals, hello. If you love ethereal, kind of real uh, whimsical cards and you want something that's very traditional, we are going to blow your socks off with this collection later. If you're in the club as a platinum member, $55, $20 or $68, uh, that is coming up. You're going to want to make sure you see that. We have got to shut the front door, shut the back doors, shut, shut everything basically this next deal because this is awesome. You buy two of the next deal uh, and you get four of them free. You buy two. You, you get, get four, four free. free. And what, how? How? On these gorgeous game folds that have been so, so popular. Fifteen ninety eight, forty four eighty five. It's a, if you haven't got it, you definitely need to get it. Price uh, scenario there uh, on that one. So definitely uh, grab that uh, right now. Uh, textured cardstock. So popular when we launched this. Brand new colours. $19.99, $24.95. Price for all of these. Uh, you've got the cool tones, which is this one. We also have the warm tones, which is this one just here. You've got the neutral tones, which are awesome. Uh, and you've also then got the sunflower as well, which is a gorgeous array of colours. Right, the Monday Mega Deal. Now, the Monday Mega Deal... Awesome. Third of the stock sold out and gone. I'm going to wish you through what you get in here. You get baby blue, do, 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 baby pink, do, 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 do. And you also get lilac and you get ivory and you get canary. Five of the most popular colours are in our Centura Pearl. £11 or $16 for 50 sheets. Do you know what? This is not one per customer. I'd be getting two, three, four of those because these are colours that you're going to use time and time and time again. And we don't often give such awesome discounts uh, on our Centura Pearl. So stock up on that if you want it. Centura Pearl, absolutely uh, legendary card slot. Loads of you commenting away. A lot of you letting me know that you've got all of the boxes. Sam McDonald, every single box since box number one. Eleanor's been collecting them since the beginning. Monica, um, is she uh, she came to it a little bit late. She's trying to get some of the earlier boxes. Sheila's got them all. Shadiah's uh, just started, but she's already got 15 boxes. She's yes. very, very excited. And Roxanne as well. She's been in the subscription for the boxes since the beginning. To be in the subscription from the very off, Sarah, just speaks volumes about the quality and the value for money that is rammed into every one of those boxes, doesn't it? How many subscription services do you know have been running for two and a half years? I've seen them come and go, and I can tell you, we've just grown and grown and grown and got better and better and better. And the more people we have in the subscription, the more pressure we can put on our suppliers to bring the price down of the elements that we put in them, and the more resource we put in our team of people working on developing them. So let me tell you, there's a reason why those boxes have just got better and better and better and better over the last few months. And trust me, I know what's coming. What I also know is based on what happened with 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, basically since we went into lockdown and all this flood of people came rushing into the industry, this is a perfect starting point. So getting this, whether it's for yourself as a gift, whether you're buying this as a gift for a friend, whether you're just get, do you know, whether it's just, you don't, you don't necessarily want to collect them all, you just want one off. Sometimes I know I love to just sit down, Joe, and have everything thought through for me. We have that special website, crafterscompanionbox.com. You can go to the website, watch all the video tutorials. I've done some, Craig does some of them with us. You have all those ideas there and it's just brilliant to just kind of sit and sometimes lose yourself for a couple of hours and have everything thought through. Now, I'm going to get straight on to a card, if that's oh, all right. Oh, yes, please. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... So bear in mind the components that we've got in this box. You've got that gorgeous cut and emboss folder. You've got the little dies that go with it. You've got the stamp set here. Those are like your tools. Those are the, the, the kind of tools that you've got in your armory. So over the course of the show, I'm going to do different cards using different components. 
I'm going to start with my favourite one, that cut and emboss folder. Now, for any of you who are just getting into craft, maybe it's all you've got is our little Gemini Mini. This is designed for people who only have that machine as well. Now, because it's a regular embossing folder, you'll notice in with your machine, you've got this purple shim that you probably don't use very often. That is for when you're embossing, you add the purple shim in with it as well. Not 3D embossing. 3D embossing, you don't need anything. Regular embossing, you're going to add that shim. So here we go. What I've done is I've got the embossing folder. I'm just going to line this up inside the embossing folder. And actually, this is what you can see. This is the side that embosses, okay? Either way, it doesn't really matter. You add the shim, we go into the machine jaw, and you just give it a little turn. So it's super quick and super easy to do. Now, these would be brilliant with your matte black card, adding a little bit of gilding wax onto there. Can you see? That lifts up, so your wings of your butterfly have cut perfectly. And then we've got this embossed detail. Now, it's probably difficult for you to see that, However, what we're going to do is we're going to use, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some inks out awesome. and I'm going to ink onto these, Joe, and then you'll really see it come to life. Awesome. Christine Mahoney says she thinks she's got all except two of the boxes now. Uh, and Gwen says I've got all of the boxes from the beginning and I love them. Always perfect for a quick card. Do you know what I'd love to see, Sarah? Quanches of things that people have made from all the previous boxes. Oh, yes. Send them in to me. We love <laughs> when you share your ideas. Studio at craftscompanion.com. No, that's wrong. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. <laughs> We're in oh. England, Joe. We're in England. <laughs> oh, if I'd been here a year, you think I'd get the email address right by now. <laughs> right. Are you ready? What I'm going to show you how you add a little bit of ink. So I've got some of our Harmony Water Reactives. You just take a little bit of ink onto the edge, can you see? And you just give it a little bit of an ever so gentle, ever so gentle rub over. And can you see it's starting to pick up? So just a little bit, and it's just starting to pick up that colour on the flowers. And less is more, Joe. So you can always go and add a little bit more in, but I like to just give it like a little bit of a hint of colour, first of all, like this. So there is my lovely um, my lovely florals here. I'm going to go and add a little bit more. Look, when you want to get right in like that, watch what you can do. Oh, I don't want to use the blue one. I'll get it all over. Right, let's have a little look. I'm going to just try and go on to the... Yes, we're right on there. Right on to my flowers. And then actually, I hadn't got one out, but I think I'm going to go and get myself a nice little, nice green ink pad. And let's put a little bit of green on there. Awesome. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, yes. A bit of spring meadow will be perfect. Right, I'm going to put a bit of spring meadow on, onto those vines, and then I'm going to show you a nice clever technique around the butterfly, right? So let's have a look. So this just comes up here, and you can see how you can blend those colours in. Look how easy that was there, to blend those colours in. Now, with the butterfly, I only want his wings doing. So watch this, you just take a little bit of card. Oh, I love this. Pop it underneath like that. Right, so if you only want his wings doing, and now I can go, oh, let's add a little bit of green on first because I like the green. So we'll do his body in the green like this, right? And then we'll just blend a little bit of the blue. And this this is easy crafting this, Joe. Look at that. And these so are your water reactives, is that right? That's these right. are the water reactives because they're blendable. Awesome. Yep. So I can pop that on there. And look, we've created, even though I'm using the blue now, we've created our own shade of green on the butterfly. And then look at that. I just lift perfect, and you can see where it's being used as a little bit of a still there. So you get that absolutely perfect, Joe, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of matting and layering. So what I love is in the pack, right? So this is where you're going to use all your elements that go. In the pack, you're going to choose, out, choose a nice paper that matches. So actually, I quite like that one. So you're going to choose a nice paper that matches. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to get into our, let's have a little look into our mats and layers. So now you get into the plain cards. Oh, yes, I like that. So if we have a sheet of that one, oh, and then that one's popping out there. You can just have your mats and layers to layer it up and you can see how, this is how it's brilliant having everything that matches because look how well those three work together there and then also work really well on this base here. So all I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm going to just start and do a little bit of matting and layering, put the whole card together on one of the base cards, because bear in mind, 24 cards and envelopes. Guys, if you were going to go out and stock up on cards and envelopes, let's just assume that you're like a platinum member. So you're not paying 24 99 you're paying what, like 20, 20 pounds something? Just over 20 quid? So you're paying 20 pounds for yours, or 20 dollars, it would cost you, what, eight, nine, ten pounds for a pack of the cards and envelopes? Easily. Be in, it would be that again for the, the base cards, just the background sheets. 
I mean, the value in what you're buying, you're probably yeah. buying consumables worth of $24.99, and then you're getting the embossing folder, the dies, and the stamp set just on top of that. It's amazing value for money. And remember, all of this is Crafters Companion quality that you're talking about as well. So it really is the top of the tree uh, when it comes to uh, the quality that we offer you. Loads of you chatting away uh, in the comments. Loads of you tuning in from all over the place as well. Patsy's in Oklahoma, Liege is in North Yorkshire, Mary's in Tennessee, Eleanor in Pennsylvania, Carol in Wisconsin, Heidi in Ho Ohio. See, the thing is, right, uh, Sarah, mm -hmm. since the US election, I know yep. where all these places are now, because I stayed <laughs> up and watched it for three days solid. I've got you covered, America. <laughs> I know where you all are. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, what we like. Maria says as well, she loves all of these craft, uh, craft kits. Robert says he loves them as well. He has all of them. So good. Uh, Wendy as well says, came to the party a little late, so I only have been able to collect some of the more recent ones. Kathy uh, says, love the way the kits are packaged. That's a really great point. The packaging is absolutely awesome. If as well you get to that point where you've used it all up, you can definitely use the boxes uh, for something else. I would suggest so. Oh, they're but lovely, the they're boxes. They're really nice, yeah. aren't they? But as a gift as well, I mean, you could... Do you know some things, Sarah, I'm going to say this right, you go out to the shop or you shop on a high street and you think, right, I'll send that to so-and-so or X person. But then you think, oh, I don't really want to send it because you know how it's going to turn up. It's going to turn up in a jiffy bag with a delivery note in it. Yeah. And that is not fun. Receiving a present that's in a jiffy bag with a delivery note is not the same, is it? Whereas these, it will be, this carton that you receive will look like this, which is fabulous. This will be in an outer box. So they'll open that up and then they'll have this on the inside. Then they'll open that up. Got that lovely message on the inside. You've got that tissue paper paper that's in there. So I like to think that they're kind of like semi gift wrapped already is yep. how I think about them. So they are perfect for sending out uh, as a gift uh, uh, to that point. Um, this is my, Michelle says, is this the description box for November? I'm guessing it is. Uh, yes, because we're in November are. and this we is the subscription box. So this is the one, yes. Awesome. Uh, Sarah's just bought her first ever box. She's so excited. Oh, I know you're going to love welcome it. Welcome to the programme. Um, Eleanor says as well, yes, I've been there for that long. I love every one of the boxes. They're so much fun to do as I've learned a lot from all these boxes. Loads of you are absolutely loving this. And going, is that done already? That's done already. Well, I, I want to show you we can do some quick and easy ones and then we can do some more advanced ones. So I'm going to get, I've got lots planned over the course of the show, but what all always happens is I will warn you they always go people watch the first demo they have a look and then they're like wow so let me just tell you you need to get the box we only ever get to do one proper presentation of them you absolutely need to get the box it is just it's incredible value for money you're hearing from hundreds of people who are saying get these every month absolutely love them we have tens of thousands of people in the subscription who are waiting with bated breath every month if you haven't had one of the boxes, or if you haven't had this box, trust me, it is like a one-off opportunity to get it, get in or miss out. That's kind of how it runs. So this is your only chance to get it. Yeah, absolutely. It is. Now, I want to show you some of the gorgeous things that you can make with it as well. I love these because you're going to be able to theme these up, bring your different ink pads in, your different colouring mediums. You're going to be able to make them summery or wintry, Christmas reefs, autumn reefs. It's completely up to you, uh, the different kind of reefs that you're able to produce with these. I love this next one here as well with that uh, topper on there. It's really, really gorgeous. Uh, the colours of the papers in here uh, are absolutely exquisite as well. So that's a snapshot of some of the things you can do. Now, remember, not only are you getting all that awesome value in the box, get yourself a copy. Or maybe, do you know what? Maybe you're sat on the fence about the box and you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure. Get yourself over to crafterscompanionbox.com. Crafterscompanionbox.com. Go over there, have a look at the video tutorials that are there for this product. They're all totally there for free. I know you're going to absolutely love them. Uh, the value is amazing. Amazing. Now, uh, over a quarter of the stock has sold out and gone. And the thing is, as you guys know, with these boxes, once they're sold through, that's it. We don't reproduce them. We're not going to remanufacture them. Uh, we fulfill uh, the subscriptions over in the US and then any surplus that we get, which we are lucky enough to get, we bring right here to you guys on Crafters TV. It is very, very busy on the website. If you want to place your order, now's a great time to do so. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Click that Shop the Show button and you'll then be able uh, to grab your box, which is fantastic. Um, Surepack says, like others, I always believe switching... Uh, 
uh, I also believe switching the subjects. Oh, she talked lots of people talking about loving them. Julie as well says, uh, so quick uh, and so easy. Absolutely. Really fast, effective cards. And, you know, we talk about 24 cards here. Once you've used um, those card blanks and envelopes, you're going to add more of yours into there. You're going to have hardware in that box that you're going to keep absolutely forever. The stamps, the embossing folder, the dies, etc. Really, really busy on that. Right. We're going to move on. I want to share with you some of the Sharon Callis items that we've got. Now, for those of you um, that aren't familiar uh, with Sharon, Sharon is an awesome uh, designer uh, from Ireland. She does loads of work with us here uh, at Crafters Companion with the design team. She organizes basically the whole design team. She's a very, very lovely, hilarious lady and a super talented crafter as well. And I think what she's done here with this collection is awesome because she has focused on two of your absolute favorite things, flowers, and butterflies and she has gone sort of ethereal almost with it now obviously the colors and the textures that you use and choose are going to define the kind of projects that you're making but I love how uh, you know we've got all of this really lush designs there's glitter here there's butterflies there's floral elements there are shabby chic papers in here there are layers upon layers upon layers with gorgeous embossing folders being used as well really striking color combinations being used in here if you want something bold you want something impactful you want something that's really going to make a statement then i think these sharon callis dies are going to be for you if you want to be able to send cards to your friend Mavis, and before she even opens it up and looks at what the writing says on the inside, she knows it's from you. This, this is the card set. This is the die set I think that genuinely is going to enable you to do that because it is absolutely stunning. And what I love about it is the amount of movement that you've got in these as well. Now let's start off with this one just here, uh, which is the Mariposa, uh, which is a big die. If you want, if you like your Schmetterlings large, then this is going to give it to you. Now the other awesome thing about it as well, because of um, Sharon's, all of Sharon's sort of wealth and expertise in designing, she knows that, you know, what you guys really want is the ability to lift these wings up. You wanna be able to add texture. You wanna be able to get loads of dimension on there. Maybe you're gonna use it on its own. Maybe you're just gonna use the topper. Maybe you're gonna use the topper with the matte layer. Maybe you're gonna play around and introduce different textures. Uh, maybe you're gonna use some awesome vellums in it. How awesome would vellum look with these dies that she's designed for us? But I think what she's really done is put all of her experience down and giving us something truly truly amazing we've got sentiments in here as well of course we have uh, we've got thinking of you there we've got butterfly love lots of different styles of butterfly in here for you to be able to work with that of course works with the stamp so you've got the stamp and die now i know these are just stamped in black and white right but i need you just to sort of think about heat embossing Think about faux enamelling. Think about all of those, oh my word. If you have got our opaque pigment ink pads, you are going to have an absolute field day uh, playing around with this stamp and die collection. You're gonna be able to make so many different awesome things. Also, quilling. How awesome is quilling? It gives you such a, an incredible effect. Think about, yes, doing your quilling with your textured cardstock, your linen card stocks. How about those beautiful card pads we've got on the show? They would work wonderfully with this. Think about mulberry papers, tissue papers, vellum. Uh, think about making it shabby chic. Then absolutely, this is something that you're going to be able to do brilliant things with. Not only have you got the peony, uh, which is uh, the boss's favourite flower, just in case you ever get in the doghouse, you know, to get your way out now. I've given you a get out of jail card. Uh, and you've uh, uh, had several <laughs> customers send me peonies after we said that on air. Have you? I oh. absolutely have, which is wonderful. So Actually, lovely. I received some flowers from a customer just this week. Did uh, you? Well, last week, and I've just, yeah, because I obviously I wasn't oh. in the office last week. Were they so from I just Carol? Got back in this morning. Uh, oh, I can't remember, Joe. Oh, I think they're, they're just one of the girls said, I've got some flowers for you. They're in my oh, office right I think they're from Carol Coe in the High Peak. Oh. She sent me an email about it as well. Anyway, uh, if you want to make uh, these, we've also got Climbing Rose in here as well, which is absolutely Gorgeous. It's an amazing collection. Two other elements in here that I don't have boards for as well. Uh, we've got this one, oh, which is that gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. It's butterfly friendship. Oh, really lovely. And you've got the sentiment oh, love in here that. as well, sending love. I think if you want to make something bold, you want to make something distinctive, you know, 
You've got less is more people in the world, and then you've got people that want butterflies, and they want layers and textures and all these different things. If you're one of those people, Sharon has absolutely outdone herself. What we're then able to do, of course, as well, because we are a, a huge company, uh, we're able to get you a great price. An am amazing value for money is what you're looking at. 69 pounds if you're in the UK, uh, UK, sorry, that's 55.20 uh, as a platinum member, $85 in the US, $68 as a platinum member. I'm hearing already just how busy it is. I know, Sarah, that when these went over to HSN, uh, and of course, it was the first time they'd seen any of Sharon's products over there, there was a huge, huge reaction to these products, wasn't there? Oh, everybody loved that. I created them on HSN. You guys went bananas. For this kit in particular, the butterflies and blooms, and I think it's because you get to try a bit of everything. Like you said, we all love butterflies and flowers, Jo, but then having the to chance to try her quilling flowers in here, that's what I'm gonna show you, first of all, because the quilling flowers work very, very different so, do you want me to just get straight into it? Oh, yes, I'm please. Gonna do, I'm going to do a peony. I'm going to do a lovely pink peony. So, what I've got is, if this is the set of dies, okay? So, these dies you're going to cut out of a little bit of green card. This is going to be your actual quilling flower, okay? So, if I'm careful, I think I might get two of these out of one. Yeah, let's let's try this, right? Here we go. I might get two out of one sheet because, you know, I like a... Um, one like sheet a good does bit plenty, though, you know? One sheet does plenty, it does indeed. So here we go, right? So I'm gonna pop that in there and they're gonna go through the Gemini Mini, right? So I'm gonna just squeeze this into here and we're gonna squeeze that through our little Gemini Mini. Beautiful, loads of people still chatting away. Loads of love for Sharon in the comments. Mary says Sharon's collections are awesome. Uh, Astrid, uh, who's on our design team, says she loves Sharon. Uh, we love Sharon collection, says Diane uh, as well. All available individually, but if you want the best value, you want the full collection, you know what you need to do. Get the uh, details that are there on your screen at the moment. Um, I think quilling uh, flowers as well. It's such a really lovely thing to do, isn't it? I've got visions of people cutting all of these out, Sarah, doing loads and loads and loads, and then just sitting down uh, in front of together. the TV and just doing loads of flowers. Well, I mean, quilling flowers were clever before Sharon invented her way of doing it. But then I think when Sharon did this, it just took it to another level. So can you see, you've got some on both sides. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start with a little bit of our plum jam here, Joe, And I'm just going to ink up the edge of one of them, right? So just inking up just on those edges. And notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the top edge of one, flick it over, and do the underneath edge of the other, right? Okay. So you're doing top edge of one, underneath edge of the other. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to take this and you're gonna fold, you know that dotted line is? You're gonna fold along that dotted line and it ah. really, really cleverly folds all of the pieces in between the other ones. So hang on a minute, you don't have to stick two pieces together no, with these? just fold it in half. Amazing. Just fold it in half. Now, if you want to go another level, now I've got that folded over, I'm gonna reopen it back up and I'll show you how we can get it really, I'll do one fancy and one kind of plainer, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squidge these ends together, right? Just to make it feel a little bit more, you know, ruffled like a peony. Now you could be doing these, Joe, in the, um, you know our flower forming foam? Oh, nice. These would look fabulous in the form. You could be doing these in tissue paper. I love, 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 love the idea of doing all of these in tissue How paper. How about vellum? Some of <gasps> my gorgeous vellum pads. Oh, vellum flowers. Oh, would look absolutely dabomb. Is that dabomb? Da dabomb. They would look dabomb, right? <laughs> so here's what we do. We're just squee squidging all of these together, okay? Then I'm going to refold those back over so that you get all of those pieces kind of all into one, all right? Now, I'm gonna just come in with my ultra fine red liner tape and just take a little piece of that all the way along this edge, Joe. So I'm gonna start about, about a quarter of an inch, half an inch or so in from the side and then sticking this on. This is why you want that very, very thin red liner tape. They're all in stock on the website. If you want to stock up on anything like any of the red liner tapes while you're on, now is a very good time to always be doing it when you're ordering this sort of stuff, okay? So that all sticks down and I'm just going to give that a really nice squeeze there. 
Now, if you don't already have it, this is our quilling tool, okay? It just makes quilling a little bit easier. Those of you who are in the subscription program will probably have got this when you got your quilling box from us, uh, what, correctly, a couple of years ago. So, um, but I mean, quilling tools are easy to pick up as well. Or, I mean, I, sometimes I just roll mine around a cocktail stick. So, here we go. I'm just going to just squeeze this on the end of there, Joe. Can you see? So we're onto the end. And then I'm just going to start and peel back a little bit and twist that. So can you see I'm just twisting as we go around and obviously it's twisting both layers together and this is how you create your own 3D quilled flower. Awesome. I just love the fact that you don't have to go to the effort of sticking two pieces together. I mean, it's such a time saver. It's such an ingenious idea as well. Isn't it good? She's very clever. Now, she's done a whole range of quilling flowers. This is a brilliant way just to kind of get them and, and, and get started with them. But if you love her quilling flowers, you can buy the whole range. So How there you gorgeous. go. So there's a nice peony all done, ready to go. And then watch what you do. You remember I said they had these extra dies, Joe, right? If you take those dies and just cut them out of some other bits of card. So I've got mine here, let's have a look. Cut one out of the um, the green. Now I'm just gonna go, and I, I did burn myself with the glue gun the other day, so I'm, I'm being super careful now glue gun wise. Watch, I'm gonna go straight over the back with this just to hold it all together. We need to get you one of those glue gun holders from Tiffany, that's what you need. Well, I had one, Joe. We did have one here before I was not here last week, and I don't know where on earth it's gone. So I... that suggests to me someone's taken it home with them. Leanne's probably stolen it. Already. Leanne's probably stolen mm. it. Story of my absolute <laughs> life, right? So here we go. I'm gonna pop this down here, so again, that holds it in place this is now going to allow me to stick the edge pieces on so there's one and then let's get maybe it's another one of our couple of smaller leaves like this right you just take just a tiny little bit in here and then you're just coming in with those little and you can see how they're going to kind of stick out on the edge there so you're just getting those all into place as they're coming in and i think we'll stick one more one of the larger one on here and you can see how easy it is to put your big flowers together. Now, do you want me to do, while you're chit-chatting, Joe, do you want me to do another one of those for everyone oh, to watch? Oh, yeah, why not? I think We'd love to see another so one. So that you can see that there. I'm going to do another one. Now you know what we're doing. You can watch the whole technique right from the beginning because there's the other one that I cut out. And I'm going to start again with just with the inking and go through the whole process again. Absolutely. I love that idea. Uh, Kevin, uh, Evelyn Kiefer says, I use up every piece of paper uh, that came in the quilling box. Got a lot of flowers out of that box as well. I think it was it box number five, Johnny. Number uh, five was the, was the quilling, quilling one. It was indeed. I um, only know because we've got one on the shelf here. It's one of the most <laughs> popular ones we ever did. Uh, it is indeed. So I know a lot of you already got that and love it. And these these are awesome and as I was saying earlier you know with this Sharon, Sharon Callis items they are really bold they're impactful they are um, they're really more is more I think if you love to build up with your different papers and distress and tear and add uh, embellishments and flowers to it and really go for it you're going to be able to create something super distinctive with this range it is getting super super busy at the moment uh, 69 pounds gets you all of it uh, remember, if you're in the UK, we take that down to 55.20 uh, for platinum members. 85 dollars in the US uh, goes down to 68 dollars uh, for platinum members. Platinum members save 25.71 or 38.55, which is awesome. Very busy on that. Lots of you still checking out as well now on that earlier craft box uh, that we looked at too. Very, very busy there. Details coming along the bottom of the screen. Um, Tempting Tatiana uh, on YouTube. It's not. It's not her. Um, I don't think that's her birth name. Tempting Tatiana. Uh, <laughs> I think it's her username. Uh, she says, "I'd love to see a new quilling masterclass with the Christmas Sharon Callis dies, Ooh, including making yes. a framed picture layout with these, and maybe even a table runner." Hello, what a great idea! Well, there's there's a request. Whenever I heard one, right there, mm. I think. Do you know what would be nice? The best person to teach all of this is actually Sharon herself. I, think, I so. think we should see if we can get Sharon back in to do a masterclass with us and teach how us about, some of these things that people are requesting. How about a Christmas craft house with Sharon? <gasps> oh, I think I think we need to get in touch with okay. Sharon and get our request in. Right, Johnny, get it written in the ideas book and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Diane says, I love the quilling tool that came in the box. I have different tools, but the crafter's companion one is the best. Um, of course it is. Mary Pats as well. I'm so excited to play with the Sharon Callis quilling after my Christmas cards are finally finished. Do you know what? Why don't you get a few cheeky Christmas flowers in with your Christmas card, mate? I mean, if you're, you know, that eager uh, to get playing with them, uh, Mary. Uh, and Michelle Knits For You says, flowers make everything better. 
don't they just? They, they really, really do. Really do. Do love some flowers. If you love making your flowers, I know you're going to love this collection. If you love butterflies, let's face it, who doesn't? You're also going to love this connection, uh, collection. Could you pop stamens in here? Yes, totally. Okay. Totally, if you want to add a stamen into there. Very easy to do. You would just quill the stamen in first. Right. And you, you know, if you've and actually, if you've got any of Sharon's wider ranges, she does stamens in some of the bigger collections that she does. Okay. This is like a little bit of a taster into Sharon's uh, into Sharon's quilling flowers. So you get like a little bit in the butterflies and blooms. You get those gorgeous peonies and the lovely roses. So it's a brilliant kind of starting point to get you started. But bear in mind, you don't you don't have to end where you start. This is just to get you going on this lovely new craft, and then you can be building up from there. Awesome, and I know you're going to love it. Very busy now on this collection. Uh, it's the first time I've actually seen any of uh, these uh, new Sharon items that we've, Sharon Callis items that we've bought, and I think they are awesome. I think what she's done really well is put her years of expertise as a designer into a collection that's going to be easy for you to craft with, that's going to allow you to make something very impactful very quickly. I just think it's genius that you only need to cut one of those to make a full flower. To make a whole flower. And they love it. And look how different those two look just based on how, I, how much ink I put on them. Mm. Yeah, I thought that was a bit different. Now, that's the, so the quilling flowers are just the first component in the range, okay? I thought we'd do a card that incorporated everything. So I've got a couple of flowers, but then I've also, so this one here is the butterfly friendship, okay? So I wanted to show you how these are going to work. You can take, you've got two different butterflies on this, in this collection. I'm going to take the butterfly and I'm just going to pop it, Joe, onto one of our little stamping platforms. And then you can use, I would recommend the quick dry inks. So if you use the quick dry inks, you're going to get this lovely kind of detailed uh, stamp design. So here is our little butterfly. I'm going to stamp that on the top there. There's the butterfly, right? And then also, can you see, we also have, let's have a little look. I'm going, I am endeavouring to clear up as we go, Joe. Look how good I'm being today. You're being so I've, good. Yeah, I am. It, well, I don't know why, because it's actually me back tomorrow. So it's not like oh. I'm going to get in trouble off anybody. That's is it why not? you're cleaning up as you go. Because yeah. <laughs> I can't blame anyone tomorrow. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's get a nice grey ink pad as well and do uh, some of these. Uh, here we go. Yeah, a bit of, bit of down, sandy plume. Uh, Vicky's down for a quilling mask class. She loves the idea. Shadaya, she's, she's well up for a quilling mask class uh, with Sharon. There we go. I think we need, to, we need to make it happen. I think we need to speak to Sharon, don't we? So, right. Oh, oh I've stamped a bit hard on that one. Maybe Sharon's watching. You know, she often watches these shows Ooh, Sharon while she's hey, at home oh, don't uh, working say that. I'll, be, I'll we, be feeling under pressure we can get her on just to ask her about that time where she tried to get from Crate and Craft back to the hotel and after three hours Sarah she ended up back at Crate and Craft and just, just gave up and couldn't do it <laughs> so we can ask her in depth about that hilarious story when we get her on <laughs> <laughs> hey, God love her she's, uh, she is a character like isn't she she very much is right so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take now the die that goes with this jaw I'm going to line this up over the top. And can you see, you can cut it out perfectly. And this is the beauty of them. She's done the dies and stamps just to make life a little bit easier. So there's that one stamp, the butterfly. And if I get chance for another card later, I've actually planned. This is like my simple card. Then I've also got a more advanced one planned later. Oh. Yes, not one to spoil the surprise or anything, but yeah, I've got to. But the thing is, this is the beauty with her cards. There's so much you can do with them. And you can go back and watch the masterclasses that Craig's done. When we've had Sharon on Craft House, all the ideas she's shared with everybody. So there's loads of inspiration out there once you get the range. There's the lovely butterfly. And then watch, if I take these, you can even cut out these little bits here. I mean, how, how ridiculously fiddly are these? But then look, you're just lining them up over the top. And the whole thing just, let's have a look, make sure we do get lined up over the top. Whole thing just sits in there, cuts through and cuts out absolutely perfectly. I think if you love our opaque ink pads as well, you're going to love heat embossing all the different colours on these butterflies. Yeah. They're going to look gorgeous. Do like a nice like ombre. I think that would be Ooh, lovely. Oh, a bit of triple embossing on those. Yes, please. A bit of triple please. embossing. I love it. Right, here we go. So I'm going to pop that out. I mean, look at that. So all these bits here. I mean, look at the detail you've got in that with the stamping and then the die cutting. So here we go. Let's get everything put together. So we've got a butterfly. We've got some lovely flowers. What I've done is I have already folded together. Where have I put it? Here it is. Right. I've already folded together my... Hang on. I'm going to clean this up so that I, I my card stays white. Sorry, you're so I know. you're being so well behaved. Well, the thing is, I don't. I want my card to stay white, okay. right? <laughs> now, this is how you do a side stepper, and again, it's another one on the ultimate. So I've scored 
if I just show you it here, right? So what you do, get my scoring too loud. I feel like it's been an extra mini ultimate masterclass today, <laughs> right? If you watch the ultimate tutorial, you'll see you score on this one to the, you go into here and score this line up here. Then you do the half fold, okay? And we do our first step and then you move it down and that gives you this step and your second step, right? So that's how you put your step lines in. All of that, Joe, is what is covered on that ultimate, um, I'll say ultimate USB. masterclass, but the USB, it is more, it is like taking, I always joke about this, it's like taking 30 classes with me. If I look at what I would plan to do on a class, um, if you came and joined me for one of my classes, what I would do on one class, there is around about 30 classes worth of content just for you to, uh, and the thing is, it's it's all kind of broken down into nice, easy, mani manageable chunk chapters so that you're just learning like a little bit at a time as it was. So there's a whole chapter just on stepper cards. So there's your nice base stepper card to start with. And I've just done a nice simple one. And then what I'm going to do, Joe, is I've just got some nice papers and I'm just going to do a little bit of matting and layering in the background. And uh, you, you can, you're just going to lose me for a bit. Oh, Sharon Callis Crafts on Facebook says, absolutely. <laughs> I knew she'd be watching. Absolutely. Uh, would love to give a masterclass. Oh, you, there, there we go. go. Uh, will you uh, also tell us the story about uh, trying to get back to the Days Inn as well, though, Sharon? Because that will hinge. I think a lot of whether we do it will hinge on you telling that hilarious story. Uh, and also, Catherine Baker has been in touch as well. She says, uh, these quilling dies are so much fun to use. The graduated size gives such good result. I keep making flowers and don't know what to do with them all. Looks like springtime in the craft room. And I think the great thing about flowers is in quilling is that, yes, you can use them in your cards, in your greeting cards. But actually, I think they look lovely on hair bands. They look great on a corsage. They do. Wonderful in a box frame. Wonderful around a picture frame. Uh, it is one of those things you can do so much with them. They are so, so versatile, whether you're card crafting or depending on any kind of craft uh, that you are doing. They really are really busy on this. And I'll be honest, I, so I've done quite a lot of quilling flowers in the past. And when I saw Sharon's technique of like folding them in, like cutting them and folding them in half, I just looked at that and thought, how has nobody come up with this before? This literally makes quilling so much easier, so much better, looks so much more effective. And I think Sharon's just kind of made that so much more accessible for so many people. It's absolutely unreal. So honestly, I feel privileged that we're, we're able to work with Sharon to bring all of this like to you guys, because you know, we can go make all this awesome stuff, but we need to have, we need to have all the ideas and everything. Well, Sharon's one of those amazing ideas person who has all the ideas and we just get to bring the ideas to life and then bring them to you. There we go, look at this. So yeah, straight and, under and there. you guys are loving it as well. I mean, so many of you that have gone for these collections over on HN, let me know in the comments how much you're loving these. Evelyn says these would look beautiful uh, on a wreath. Absolutely, uh, they would. Oh, you could do them on a wreath from your subscription box. That's exactly what I was thinking. Is that what you were thinking, Joe? No, I, oh, well, I say I was thinking. I think Evelyn was thinking it, really. And then I sort of piggybacked her idea, if I'm honest. Um, but yes, definitely. Uh, bring it in. And also think about bringing it into your subscription box. Think about how you're going to add uh, things like these flowers and these butterfly elements into your wider stash across maybe lots of different ranges that we bring it here at Crafters Companion. Maybe all of the brands, that, other brands that you already have in your craft room as well. I think there's something you could definitely sit down and centre a project around this collection, but it's definitely one of those collections that's going to complement and you're going to be able to add in to projects that you're doing predominantly from other collections uh, that you've got in your stash. It's definitely going to complement loads of things that you're working on and it's the versatility with them. I think that is why they are proving so busy yet again in this show. Uh, loads of you in the ordering process on this particular collection at the moment. That's gorgeous, Sarah. Isn't that looking lovely? And then I'm just going to add me a couple of little flowers that I've done. Uh, I've got another one that I've done down here as well. I think I think things always look good in threes, don't they? With this one here, I just used a little bit of... Um, can you see? So here's the two that you've just watched me make. And then this one here, I've just used a bit of sandpaper on the edge just to just give a little bit oh, of nice. white on the edge. So it just shows you three kind of different effects. And I'm just going to place those place those in place on there as well, Joan. Just kind of, just bring everything to be all lovely and finished off. 
Mm, absolutely gorgeous. Um, cute card uh, says Janet as well. Uh, Diane says, thank you, Sarah, for bringing Sharon into our life. Oh, well, my lovely. pleasure. What an absolutely lovely thing to say. Loads of you going for these now, as I said, getting very, very busy. Still really busy uh, on that subscription box as well. John, Johnny, how are we doing on the Monday Mega Deal? Wow, 40% of that Monday mega deal now has sold out and gone. I'll give you a recap on that uh, in just a while. But if you want it, if it's in your basket on the website at the moment, definitely think about moving towards the checkout because it is really, really busy on that one. Uh, and a lot of you are multi-ordering, which is why I think that one is going quite so quickly. Right, here we go, Joe. So all I'm doing is making my little flurry of flowers on here. And did you notice I'm using the glue gun for speed, but then I'm also kind of like manoeuvring them into where I want them to be. I love like, because they're made out of cardstock. They're pretty strong once we've got to that stage. And then also I've used the, you know, the in the set we also had, without change, there would be no butterflies. So I've just... Just a nice stamped one. Sharon's been back in touch. Go on. What, what <laughs> does she say typical now? typical Sharon, right? She says, Joe, I hear they are putting a commemorative plaque on the Fletton Parkway dedicated to my epic marathon trip around Peterborough. <laughs> hashtag roadworks. Hashtag sat nav fails. Hashtag numpty. <laughs> you wait till I ask her about that if I get to do a show with her. It's so funny. So, so funny. <laughs> oh, bless. Right. Uh, there we June go. says uh, such a pretty card as well. Julia is loving that card too. Really gorgeous. I love that. So what's that? Um, what's the card base called there again? That concept. That's Sarah? a stepper card. That's a side stepper a one. Side. Johnny, stepper. our producer, would know all too well. He had to sit and learn every type of step: an inverted oh. stepper, a centre stepper, a right side stepper, a left side stepper. He learned every type of stepper card with me when he was locked in here. You know, we said we took three days to record the ultimate. Uh, USB, but obviously we, we're live on Crafters TV here, so we had to start our day at six o'clock after everything finished and record through the night to get all of these, um, to get the USB, to get, I call them the DVDs, to get the three DVDs all done. So, oh yes, my, so it was yeah. perfect. Uh, Debbie Fisher did an upside down easel card yesterday. I'd never seen it before. So like it was like a down, I know, very fancy, very talented that Debbie Fisher, you know. Uh, very busy on that collection. Do you want me to recap what you're getting in there? Because you guys are absolutely loving it. Let me just show you what you're getting. As I said, you're getting the Mariposa firstly. Big, bold butterflies. Can be used on its own as a, just a topper element. Can be used with the, the, um, uh, the base element. Uh, also remember you've got the ability to really get just not just a little bit of dimension, but like loads of dimension here uh, with these wings, which I think is absolutely awesome. You can see just how much dimension uh, you're able to get there with those. That one's awesome. Uh, you're also gonna get thinking of you as well. Uh, you've got the stamps and the dies. Now, as I said earlier, these are gonna make bold, striking cards. These are going to be full, lush cards with loads of layers and lots of textures. That's what this is really all about. Both of those quilling flowers coming in there as well. You're going to get that wonderful die with a mahoosive schmetterling there in the middle and you're going to get uh, the sending love sentiment as well. Let me just show you the samples that I had because um, you'll get a better feel I think for what I'm talking about if I show you these samples because look at these bold layers textures, lots of different things in here. We've got ribbon and lace and pattern cardstock and quilling flowers on there. If you want to create the kind of cards that when you, your friends and family open the envelope, they know immediately before they open up the card who sent it to them. If this is your style, then I don't think you're going to find a better collection to enable you to do that. Bold, striking, we've got feathers in here, we've got gems on there, uh, it really is awesome. And Sharon, of course, has put her years and years of um, experience as a designer into creating something that is gonna be stand out. It is really going to uh, set your cards apart from the others. Check this one out as well, that beautiful floaty flower. I love this huge butterfly on there. Bit of heat embossing, bit of glitter on there. It's awesome, £69 or $85 if you wanna grab it. If you are a Platinum member, 55.20 in the UK or $68 if you are across in the US. Right. Monday mega deal. It's Centura Pearl. We have got five awesome packs for you. Half the stock is gone. You've got baby blue do 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 baby pink do do. You've got the lilac in here. You've got ivory as well. And you've got the canary in there too. It is awesome. Five 
packs is what we're offering you here. What is that, like £2.20 a pack? It's awesome value for money. It's why over half has gone. It's why a lot of you are now multi-ordering uh, on this as well. So if you've got that in your basket, think about checking that out. Super, super busy there. Um, right, also, textured card, one of my favorites. I absolutely uh, love uh, this textured cardstock. So let's start uh, with the cool tones uh, first, which is this one just here. 36 sheets in here. Now it's 230 GSM. So if you're looking at this and think, oh, that's a lovely paper pad uh, that they're going to send out to me. It's not. It is standalone bona fide cardstock. 230 is a really awesome weight because it's a very versatile weight. It means that you can die, you can die cut it. It's not too thick that you wouldn't want to mat and layer a couple of layers, I would say. Uh, you can uh, create boxes with it, absolutely you can do that as well. Uh, how about if you want to emboss with it as well? You can absolutely do that. If you want to take heat to it, so if you want to heat emboss on it, it's a really nice substantial weight to take that as well. It is the perfect all round weight. So you've got the cool tones, which is this one here. We've also got the warm tones, that gorgeous fuchsia uh, into those gorgeous red tones as well. Really lovely. I mean, that is like, that's like sexy high heel red, isn't it? It is gorgeous. Absolutely love that. Uh, then you've got sunflower as well, which are these beautiful oranges and terracottas through to that really burst like a lemon sorbet there. And then we go into these gorgeous verdant greens as well, fused through to the really dark greens. Absolutely love that. 36 sheets in each of these, 12 by 12, 230 GSM. You've got the uh, neutral tones as well. Not the most exciting, you wouldn't think, but it's really important that you have these colours in your stash because things like black as a matte layer, oh, it really makes your projects pop. And then of course, your greys are so useful useful uh, through right there into the whites as well. $19.99 or $24.95 uh, if you wanted to get your hands on those. Platinum members can get those for £16 or $20, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Now, we need to go back though to, of course, the star of the show thus far. It is that craft kit. So uh, really, really busy on the craft kit uh, at the moment. £24.99, $24.99, £20 or $20 for Platinum members you have got so much in here you're gonna make 24 cards at least I reckon uh, and also don't forget full video tutorials are available for that over on the website loads of you loving it so far uh, super super busy on this Sarah I know I do you know we were expecting it to be busy but you guys have gone crazy for this I've been reading all of the comments online but not only that I've been hearing how many of you have been checking out let me tell you with these boxes Joe we did what happened is we've always done however many thousand right and most of them go out to people who are in the subscription all around the world and then we bring a limited amount here for like one-off purchases we say now at the beginning of lockdown when we first started to get our monthly boxes literally everything we had went like that I mean I can remember Joe some of them didn't even last the show that we launched them in so you're lucky that we're now kind of into our buy-in cycle as it is used to lockdown and we bring in three or four times more boxes now so they should last a whole month however we are yet to see one of the boxes last a month because they're so popular the sooner we get them in the sooner they go out now if it's a if it's your first time if it's your first time getting one of these boxes i guarantee you you will not be disappointed because the value for money is off the scale the craftability is off the scale there's just something different about every single one of them so if we open it up the idea is right so on the back, it gives you a full list of everything that's included. Now, the reason it says it makes 24 cards is because in terms of your consumables, you get enough bits in to make 24 cards. So by that, I mean 24 of the actual base cards and envelopes to start with. So if I just flip through to this back bit here, here are 24 cards and envelopes all cut to size to get you going. Now, Joe, just to put the value for money into perspective, if you were to go and buy a pack of assorted size cards and envelopes, 24 cards and envelopes, you'd probably be talking eight, nine pounds, 12, 14 dollars just in the cards and envelopes, okay? So let's just think of it's working us out at a dollar a kit in consumables, but then we've also got the tools that are going to stay on forever. So let me show you what else is in here. 
if I gain, if I stay with the consumables first of all, and we look at the beautiful papers, you've got these lovely springtime shades where you've got those gorgeous papers, but then you've also got the solids to correspond with them. So lovely shades, so that when you matte and layer with them, it's the same shades that you're getting in these mats and layers that are perfectly going to tie in with the colours that you've got in the papers. Then you also have gorgeous ribbons. So we've done organza ribbon in these ones, three different sizes, and then also so the lovely gems to match in perfectly with the ribbons that you've got in the collection so everything's going to work so those are your consumables in there jaw then we've put a pack of stamping kindly because this is about a stamping this one i've cut mine down to size for the next demo your stamping card i mean to buy a pack of stamping card like this i mean i know we normally do them in the a4 size and this is the eight by eight so three inches shorter but this would be a 9.99 pack if it was a4 you're actually getting the eight by eight pack and it's just included in there then we've got the tools so you've got one of your embossing folders that's got the dies cut in for the butterfly wings to lift you've got the mini dies and you've also got the stamps now in this demo what i'm going to do is i'm going to use all of the um the stamps that we that we started with joseph i'll get all my stuff put back in my box okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my stamps back out and we're going to start off, I'm going to use the wreath first of all, Joe, and I'm going to stamp the wreath, but then also use the just for you in the middle. So if I just bring in my stamping platform, so whether you like to use rocker blocks or stamping platform, you use whatever you want, but I'm going to stamp it in one of our alcohol proof dyes because then i'm going to get a bit of coloring with our tri blends that we had on in the Ooh, earlier show nice job. so busy in that earlier show on those uh, tri blend brush markers you can definitely go back and grab that now that the 20, full 24 piece uh, collection box as well is in stock and it's like our it's, a, it's our gifting deal isn't it you said uh, sarah it's the deal we yep. want to do for christmas because we know so many people want to get their hands on them so there we go so i've stamped that and you can see how well that's come out okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use let's have a look i always say pop another little piece underneath here and then joe you're going to lose me i've got just so you know the colors i'm going to work with my alpine green my light green green the pale pink and the pink violet blends and i'm just going to go and do a little bit of coloring in joe awesome uh massive response to this craft uh this craft kit 30% now of the stock of the craft kit has sold out and gone. Lots of you loving it. Landa says, uh, such a beautiful kit. Uh, Deed says, the boxes are worth the price just for the cards and envelopes. Uh, yep. She absolutely loves them. Uh, lots of chatter and looking uh, forward to uh, that Sharon uh, masterclass. Um, Astrid says, I love the textured card stock so much. It's great for the handbag dies and the colours are lush too. Uh, they really are. Lots of you jumped on those uh, already. If you want to get this box, remember $24.99 if you're in the UK or the US. Uh, if you are a Platinum member, you can get this for £20 or $20, which is absolutely awesome. It is really busy on it. Remember as well, full video tutorial for these products available for you over at crafterscompanionbox.com. Craig, uh, film the videos for these ones which are going to give you lots and lots uh, of inspiration which is awesome as i said earlier i think these are an incredible gift uh if you wanted us to send it uh, off to someone else and send you the bill absolutely we can do that no problem whatsoever the other great thing as well about um giving them as a gift is they're so beautifully uh gift wrapped and i think sarah as well a lot of us whereas maybe we would in previous years would meet up and exchange presents uh, a lot of us won't be doing that now, will we? So looking for different ways maybe uh, of sending presents to uh, different people in our life. This is a great way that you could do that if you do have uh, crafty friends that you're not going to see. I think that's an absolutely brilliant idea, Joan. Like you say, whether it's getting somebody new into craft or maybe it's, maybe it's yourself and you've, just, you've only been doing little bits of craft and you're wanting to start something a little bit different, this is the set that's going to enable you to do that. Now I'm just I'm trying to use a few different colours here, Joe, just to give you a little bit of a feel for how like I'm using some of the different shades of green. Just so you can see, this was the lighter shades of green. I'm now going in with the darker one. This is your alpine green. And the other one I used was the light green blend. So you can see the different shading. Um in true Sarah style, I have one I uh, coloured earlier, but just to give everybody a little bit of a feel for what the different shades and colours look like as it was. And the brilliant thing with this is because you are colouring them in, you can do them to any colour theme you want, whether you want to make Christmas ones, summer ones, autumn ones. Uh, it's something you're going to use all the year through. 
I couldn't agree more. Beautiful. And like you say, you could, by changing the colour palette that you're working with, you can change it very easily for the season. I mean, it just takes seconds, Joe. Look, look how different there. So I've just done um, one half. Let's have a look. So I did one half with the nice pastely shades. And then I've done ha one half with the deeper shades. Oh, and look how much that. deeper it looks. Now, tell you what looks awesome, Joe. This one here that I've done. And I've what I've done is I've gone from here... And if you look, if I take this one again, you can come and use some of these little gems just from the uh, the gem set and just add some little gems into the centre of your flowers. And it just adds such a lovely little kind of finishing touch to it. So if you just add them into the centre, again, there's the one that I've done where I've added those lovely gems. And can you see how they just catch the light a little bit? So there's my gorgeous little wreath ready to go in the centre of my card, okay? So if I pop them to one side, I've got this and we're just going to start and piece the whole card together. So what I like to do from here is have a look at what we've got colour wise. So that is going to matte and layer perfectly onto a little bit of the um, onto a little bit of the pink jaw. And I'm going to layer that up. And actually then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out some of the butterflies because you've got the dyes in the set here. Uh, you do have them somewhere, Joe. Here we go. We're going to have the dies as well. So I'll also do some die cutting and stamping and layer. Uh, I'll just layer the whole thing up. As long as you can see what I'm doing, Joe, awesome. everything will make sense. Uh, Lisa Smith says, do you use the Sharon Callas quilling flowers with paper or foam or can you use them on both, Sarah? Oh, both. And we talked about before, love the idea of doing them on vellum. Yep. Or onto tissue paper. Indeed. I think they would look wonderful on tissue paper. Things like mulberry papers, I bet they'd look good oh, with as well. Yes. All of those sort of different lovely organic uh, papers and gorgeous papers uh, that you can find at the moment. Absolutely, they would look but if, brilliant. But if you're doing them with our form, if you're doing them with our flower forming form, all you would do is, like you do with your... Um, you know, if you were doing them with regular foam, do all of your die cutting first, any inking, and then you can go and heat them before you then stick them together. Awesome. Great, great tip there. Uh, loads of you still chatting away. Don't forget, I'd love to see pictures of things that you've made with any of your previous uh, craft kits, any of your previous uh, subscription boxes. Let me see those pictures. Details are down there, uh, studio <laughs> at crafterscompanion.co.uk. All the way down it. Uh, and all, all the way down, down there. there. There you are. Uh, and that is where you need to send them to. We love it when you send us in uh, pictures of things that you've been making. It's really lovely uh, to share your ideas uh, with the rest of the Crafters TV uh, viewers. Uh, there's a big week coming up uh, on Crafters TV as well. Ben's going to be with you uh, for a few days uh, from tomorrow, which will be awesome. I'm back with you on Friday this week with the Double Sara Day. We have got an awesome day. We've got the launch, remember, of that brand new MIDI. First chance to get your hands on it here on Crafts TV uh, and also the exploding boxes. And also we've got those brand new Lee Holland stamps coming up for Colour Me Happy uh, as well uh, on Friday afternoon. So it's going to be a fabulous day. Friday uh, is going to be a really big day, isn't We're it? We're calling it Fabulous Friday. Fabulous, are we, Joe? That's what it's got a name, yeah. <laughs> fabulous Friday. Yeah. Fabulous Friday. Joe, if that's what you want to call it, Tomorrow I'm absolutely going to well. go with I'll be here. It's Treat Yourself Tuesday tomorrow. That's what I like to call it. Treat <laughs> Yourself Tuesday. Doggy. Treat Yourself Tuesday. Fabulous Friday. I'm liking it all. Awesome. Right. Uh, very flies. busy now uh, on this craft box as well. Lots of you placing your orders. Lots of you getting yourself checked out. Remember what you've got in here. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of elements. You're going to make at least 24 cards. That is with just what is in the box alone. You have got so much stuff in here from stamps to embossing folders uh, to those dies as well. It is awesome value uh, for money. How do we manage to... I always wonder this, Sarah. How do we manage to get so much in these boxes and it feels like every time we do a, a new one the value seems to just get better and better well the reason we can do it joe is because basically we buy so many tens of thousands of these okay so the more we buy the more pressure we're able to put on our supplier to be able to do these for us at fantastic prices but then also the other thing that i think is really important is you've got to remember we do these as a little bit like a taster of everything crafters companion so these aren't like a this isn't like a product for us. So but putting my business head on here, this is not like a money-making thing for Crafters Companion. This is like one that comes out of our marketing budget. So we develop
develop all of these products from our marketing budget to get all of you guys trying everything that it is we do. And once I've got you trying and loving everything we do, I know you're going to be coming back for more. So that's why we do these at really incredible prices to get loads of people started with this. Awesome. And I think if you were new to uh, crafting, you know, if you don't have a really wide craft staff, if you've got a small die cutting machine, remember it all goes through the mini, I think they are absolutely awesome. If you only made 24 cards, it would absolutely be worth every single penny of that price on your screen. However, you're going to make many, many more cards than that uh, just by adding in a little bit uh, of bits and bobs from your own stash, a few card blanks and envelopes. Because you get card blanks and envelopes, don't think you can't bring this into other types of crafting as well. That doesn't mean you can't scrapbook with these absolutely uh, you're gonna be able to make awesome scrapbook pages uh, with these think about making things like tags with these as well you know how much I love a tag uh, you can make some awesome little round tags if you love fussy cutting as well as another thing I'd say uh, you're gonna absolutely love uh, playing with these snipping out little elements of those uh, floral reefs decoupaging those up as well that's definitely another way in which you could use it. I think it's just really awesome and something that you're going to be able to use all the year through as well. Uh, for holidays on YouTube says, I'm addicted to these boxes. I'm loving this one. <laughs> Gorgeous stamps and look at those papers. Oh, Susan's from a very interesting place name. She's from Gurney. Gurney? <laughs> Gurney in Illinois. I, do you know, I've heard of that actually. Have you? Yeah, I have. I, d I don't know how. Oh, is it, when we the, the is it when we played the funny place names game here before? <laughs> is that where it's come in? Um, that is looking gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? But how easy was that, Joe? And I know I'd done a little bit of the colouring already, but I, I did colour a good half of my wreath just to show you how easy these cards can be. But what I love the idea of is... You can kind of lock yourself away and as long as you've got a die cutting machine and something to stamp with and even if your die cutting machine's just your mini everything you need you've got right there so i know like for example uh, val and john my in-laws were at the caravan a few weeks ago and they one of the other caravans there was a crafter staying in there and they were on the phone to me when i was ringing the kids and they were saying oh oh um we've been chatting to so and so and they love crafts and they've got all of this and i brought that person one of our subscription boxes can't remember which box number it was but the thought that, you know, he didn't have a lot of his craft stuff there with him, but he was at the caravan, a few little bits of craft pieces in that box, everything to do the most incredible cards. And I just thought, what a great way to try something different. If this is what you want, you want to just try something a bit different, you're guaranteed incredible value for money and you know you're going to get incredible craftability and all of those amazing ideas, that's what the boxes give you. Mm, absolutely, it does, and great value for money. How are Val and John? Sell, send Val and John my love. Send they might be watching. Love. You never know. They might actually. Hello, Val and John. No chance. They pick the kids up from school on a Monday, oh, so do they? I can tell you now. There's two TVs downstairs. One will have Paw Patrol on, right? And the other one will probably have the Avengers on. So okay. I think you and I. Jo oh, but <laughs> I've, I've got to tell you this. <gasps> this is hilarious. Okay, so I was putting our child to bed the other night, yeah. And we were reading. A, it's got a pop-up book, and it's, it opens up, and the dinosaur, the crocodile, opens up, and he you right like you know pops out yeah. anyway he's been a little bit rough with it and he's broke it so I said um, we were reading the story and he says mommy and um, it needs fixing and I said don't worry son you just need somebody who's a really good crafter can stick it together and he said no problem can you ask Joe to do it <laughs> did he really <laughs> he totally did uh... and I was like you have got to be kidding me <laughs> can I take it to work and ask Joe he calls you Joe Rumbling can oh, you ask Rumbling. Joe can you ask oh. Joe Rumbling to do it for his mummy and I was like well, I could, son, or number one crafter living in this household could just go and do it this evening for you. Oh, he's so funny. I love him so much. He's such a little character. Right, let me share with you. That is, just, that is really hilarious. <laughs> let me share with you uh, some of the gorgeous things you're able to make with this craft box. As you can see here, really gorgeous. Uh, and again, think about playing around with the different colour combinations. You've got all of these cardstocks. The plain cardstock, the pattern cardstock, it's all in there for you, which is awesome. And love how delicate these can be. You're going to thin these up. Do you know what? If you went for that, if you went for the um, oh, Woodland Animals earlier, the Nature's Garden collection, if you went for the textured cardstock that you've got in that collection, you could use that with this few autumn colours on there as well and make a really gorgeous autumnal wreath. Uh, if you want to as well. I'm playing around with the idea of making a Christmas wreath, you know, Sarah. I think you should do it. 
Yeah, I need to like watch some YouTube videos and stuff, I think. And uh, I've, got my, I've got my amazing scissors now, so I can definitely do it with those. But I'm, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to have a little, a little bit of research uh, over the next few days, see which uh, style I'm going to go for. Right, I want to share with you these, because these have been so popular. When we bought these to you at that higher price, 47.94 or 89.70, incredible value for money. So, so busy, because there's loads of options with them. Let me just share this with you. So what you can do is, you can either do them as they've been done here. So you see how we're using them as sort of, these sort of gates on the front of the card here. It comes together, gives you that sentiment. I love the fact that the sentiment it's a really modern brush lettering, but it's super legible as well. Now you can either do them like this, or what you can do is actually do them so it interconnects as well, so they lock into each other. If you wanted to put something like a gift voucher in there, they work perfectly. Uh, if you wanted to extend it and do like a band around a box or around your card, they're awesome for that as well. The other brilliant thing with them is that you've got all the different stamps that you need to customise your own sentiment with each of the die cut elements. So with luck, you've got uh, good and you've also got wishing you uh, lots of. You've then got thanks as well, uh, which is a bunch very much, just to say. Uh, you've also got a happy new home in here, uh, as well as uh, best, uh, it could be best friend, you're my sending. Uh, and then also you've got lots of love here too. The other one you're getting as well is wish. Now in this configuration, I cannot quite get my, I'm gonna have to check it again with Johnny. Is it buy two, get four for free? You just pay for two of these and we send you the rest of them. We just send them to you, send you all six. It's amazing value for money. Again, they're one of those die uh, sort of, um, one of those concepts of dies that depending on the different sort of textures that you use, the different card stocks, the different colors, they can look really different. You can also as well, if you are clever, if you can actually just um, use it to die cut that out and actually just take that as a topper. So if you want to just get the luck, for instance, and have that as a topper on your card, another way you can use it. Really versatile, these, Sarah. And I mean, at this price, it's one of those kind of, either you own it, or you're getting it kind of prices, isn't it? Well, if you don't already have it, you absolutely can't afford to miss it on this one, Joe. And they're fabulous. I've got loads of cards as well that I can show you, but I wanted to show you there's two ways that they're designed to work. One, because they're called hugs gatefold, if you do them on a gatefold card, they hug together in the middle. That's how it works. So you can either put them on the gatefold or you can have them interlinking in the centre. So I personally like to have them on the gatefold. Now, if you're going to do that, First thing you need to do is create a gatefold card with a fold back. So let me just show you, and I'm gonna explain it instead of giving you the sizes so that then you can do it on any size card. You decide how big you want your card to be. So in this case, I've gone with a six inch wide card. So you need six inches, then you need three inches either side to a fold line, and then it doesn't matter what this is at the end, as long as it's as least the width of your die, right? So whatever your width of card is, then a fold line, then half of that width at either side, then an excess, so that when it meets in the middle, right, this, your gate fold meets in the middle, and this excess bit is what's gonna get cut away, but you need to have enough at least for the base to go on. So watch, I'm gonna do thanks on this one. So if I take the two pieces off, the thanks are gonna cut down the middle here. So you get tha and unx on the other side, okay? Oh, hang on, do that again. You do tha, do th, I'll do nx. Do tha. it quickly, tha, nx, tha, nx, It's like beatboxing, tha. One, two, three, tha, nx, tha, nx, tha, nx, tha, nx. It's like some sort of weird game of crafty beatboxing. Yeah, it could, it could <laughs> not be, it doesn't sound that exciting to me. But then <laughs> I'll like there's a, a problem ball. with our microphones, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where you want them to appear, okay? So just open this back out, and you're putting that for the cut exactly on there, okay? And you're gonna tape down the tha, and then the unks goes on the other side, Joe, right? And again, because we lined it all up perfectly, that is just going onto there, and you're just making sure, I'm just catching on that um, fold line. Does that make sense? It does. So I just sense. put them together again, you can see. So there it is. There's the two bit coming together perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to open them up and send them through the die cutting machine. So we're going to do one side at a time, right? So there is my tha. And I'm going to go straight through. And watch what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to cut it. And then once I know that I've cut it, oh, I was going to say, you can always pause it. Yeah. And if you want to resume it back out the other side, you don't have to let that whole thing feed through the machine. But just make sure you do get it right through for your cut, okay? So there's one side. And then that side, oh, look, look. 
that literally cut and lifted out. How clever was that? Oh, so we're awesome. going to do the same with the unks, right? We're going to put it at that edge. We're going to put this in here. So we're going to send it through. And once we know that it's cut, so I'm just listening for it. That's it. I'm going to stop and I'm going to reverse it out. And that will line up those thanks absolutely perfectly, right? It does indeed. So, uh, yeah. uh, Carol says, I love that. Ha ha, Joe. I think you are his favourite. Uh, Beth says as well, kids say the cutest things. Yeah. Uh, they really, really do. <laughs> uh, Janet says as well, oh my God, it's my week off work this week as well. Can't wait for Friday. Shut the front door, shut the back door, put your Christmas tree up and get ready for Friday, everyone. Woo, yes. woo. Yes. Well, there actually, we in my Friday, tomorrow, let me tell you, tomorrow, it's going to be epic because who bought the foiler? Who bought the new large foiler in birthday week? Oh, so many of you got it. Is it already sold out? Did I see uh, it? Or have we got some back? Do you know, I don't know. I, re I think we have... I think we have a limited amount. We might have a very for small tomorrow. amount. Tomorrow, but I did promise that everybody who got it in birthday week, we'd, we'd be doing all these master classes, even if everything's sold out. So if you make sure you're tuning in tomorrow, basically what I'm going to be doing, Joe, is I'm going to be teaching everybody how to do foiling onto fabric. So oh. a lot of the projects that I did, you saw, if you saw the master class launch, you'll have seen me when I did my, um, I did some lovely cushion covers, I did foiling onto ribbon. I did a lovely zip top but I didn't Trisha did me a wonderful zip top bag and a cushion and I thought why don't I teach you all of that stuff that she's done so my show tomorrow literally the whole show is planned to be just like that I think it's going to be absolutely wonderful I think it's going to be fantastic I think I need to tune in and watch that you know you definitely do Joe. I'm a bit gutted it's that going I'm going be... home now call well... Ben tell him not to bother I'll stay <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a ring and tell him. <laughs> I don't think he'll have that. You for don't some think reason. he'll have it. Do I you? don't think he'll stick to that. <laughs> <laughs> right. What I've done is I've just die cut them. You saw me do it in a little bit of gold, right? Just so that what I can do is I can take this now, and I can layer it over top of these, and it just makes them really stand out. Now, what I would say, Joe, is these are the sort of cards whereby for people who don't do crafts, right? They will never, ever understand how you've got this to work. In fact, to be honest, Joe, for a lot of people who do do crafts, they still probably won't have a clue how you've got the thanks across the gatefold in your card. Mm. I mean, isn't that just it's super awesome. clever? And what I've got is I've just got some nice, really simple kind of mats and layers to put the whole card together. But you've, si you've seen the clever bit now. I mean, it's just fabulous once you know. Once you know how to do it. And you can be doing this type of card. And actually, I've done masterclasses with these. So go back and watch the masterclasses. And you'll learn how to do all those different types of cards that we've shown you in the samples and we've talked about. But once you've got the dies, at buy two, get four free. I mean, that is a cartload price, that. Isn't it? You can go back and you can watch those master classes and just have a little learn how to do all of these fabulous techniques with the really advanced cards i mean monday makers is always the time of the week when we get to do some really advanced crafting so i'm pleased and you know i chose the sharon callas collection and these gatefold hugs they were my two choices of what advanced cards do i want to teach everybody and i tell you what i am loving that you have been loving them Mm, absolutely you guys do buy two get four totally free of charge should be 47.94 it's 15.98 today should be 89.70 in the us it's 44.85 definitely grab them uh, whilst they are on such a fantastic price is what i would say uh carlene says um she has just got a notification to say uh that her platform is coming today she can't wait. She's excited. Lisa says these gatefold die cuts are awesome. Gives cards a great first impression presentation yes. for a card. Pre and presentation, guys, is absolutely everything. Oh, if you want a great deal on those flowers as well. Is that the Cosmos, I think, that one? It is. It? You can go back. They were on a half-price deal yesterday. You get five of them. Now, let me get this right. You get five of them. I think for like £25 in the show yesterday. It was it was unbelievable. It's like £5 per die set. Go back to the Second Chance Sunday show on the website, find those deals. And we also had a fabulous deal as well on uh, the double-sided uh, edgeables as well. So make sure you go back and check all of that out uh, over on the website. Um, <laughs> Kathleen just says, you two are so funny. I hope you mean, <laughs> hope you mean funny ha-ha, Kathleen. I, I, I hope she does mean funny ha-ha, because <laughs> the funny thing is, Kathleen, we weren't even trying to be funny today. No, I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we've been very serious today. There you go. There's that get get bald hugs. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, remember what you're getting in here as well. You are buying two. You're getting four free. You're gonna get luck. Uh, remember, you've got uh, the die cut element. You've then got the stamps in there to enable you to customise that as well. You got thanks. There is happy new home. We have got best friend. Uh, you've got lots of love. And the other one you're getting in here, the sixth one, is wish as well. Uh, so 15.98, 44.85. Make sure you grab those. Right, we're going back to the Monday mega deal. 60% uh, of that Monday mega deal uh, has sold out and gone. Baby blue, baby pink, lilac, ivory and canary, 10 sheets of each, 310 GSM, Centura Pearl, it's unrivaled quality, 11 pounds or $16. It is not one per customer either, shockingly. Uh, a load of you multi-ordering on those uh, at the moment. Definitely great for getting so, uh, stocked up. A lot of people talking about them being great spring and um, Easter colours as well, but they are. it's great to get them now uh, whilst they are on such a great deal as well uh, at the moment. Robin's got some suggestions for a uh, day name, she says, "Marvelous Monday, one ma marvelous Monday, wonderful Wednesday, and thankful Thursday, and fabulous Friday." We just need, uh, oh, and treat yourself Tuesday. Is that it? Yeah, that's the whole we're every day of the week, midweek, taken care of. Um, and Sunday, Super Social Sunday. I've decided. Uh, I just need something for Saturday, and then that's it. We're done, taken care of. Um, loads of you still chatting away. Remember, any questions that you've got about absolutely anything, make sure you drop into uh, Facebook, or of course, uh, pop into uh, YouTube. Do we have some pictures, Johnny? Oh, we've got some pictures. Loads of you have been sending in things that you've been making, and this is stuff that you guys have made with us, some of our previous craft boxes as well. Joanne, Box number 29, please, uh, has sent this in, uh, which I think is awesome. Uh, she's also sent us another picky as well, which we love. That one looks great. Is that poppies on that one? I think it might be. They look, they look gorgeous. Uh, Mary sent this in. Uh, oh, and these are from the Sharon Callis collections. Mary, they are gorgeous. Do you know what I mean about them really having a theme? A really strong sense of identity uh, is what those Sharon Callis collections have, which I think is absolutely awesome. Star of this show, though, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, is that awesome brand new craft kit. Over 220 elements within there. You're gonna make at least 24 cards from this collection. You have got everything you need in here. You've got metal dies, card blanks, envelopes, stamps, cut and emboss folder, colored card pack, printed papers, stamping card, ribbons. You've even got 100 gems in there as well. It is a an incredibly uh, well, filled box that you've got there. Don't forget as well, you've got full video tutorials available to you over on crafterscompanionbox.com. There you can go and be inspired uh, by Craig. Remember as well, if you haven't got it yet, uh, go for a mini in conjunction with this. The two work hand in hand so beautifully. And as we said earlier, if you want to send someone a little care package, maybe you want us to send this to someone else, send you the bill uh, as a little gift. I think this is the most awesome um, sort of type of product that we do for allowing you to do that. It is very, very busy. Uh, 20 pounds or 20 dollars for our platinum members or 24.99 24 whether that's pounds or dollars um, a third of the stock has sold out and gone so we've had a really big reaction uh, to this in the show a lot of love for that last card um, that you made just there um, Rose says oh Rose got a question about the gatefolds keeping them Close. I guess they don't really need to stay closed. They can flat. You can interlock them as well, those gatefolds. It's completely up to you. It's two fully different. There are two totally different concepts. You've got full instructions on how to do both concepts. And there's video tutorials, uh, I believe, across on the I website there. I did an there awesome for masterclass. Did you? I did an awesome masterclass on these. So honestly, Ooh. go back and have a little look and you'll see I showed you how to do the, the interlocking element. I showed you how to do the gateboard. I showed you how to do different shape cards. We did a whole two hour masterclass just on that technique. Uh, but I tell you what, get them on your buy to get for free, then go back and watch the masterclass. Awesome, yes, do that and then pop back because they certainly, uh, I don't believe, were that kind of uh, price when we did them before. Right, the craft kit, sorry, it's the star of the show uh, at the moment. Are uh, you got more that you want to share with us? I've always got more that I want to share with you, Joe. <laughs> We've literally used just a couple of elements from the kit, right? So what I thought I'd do is take inspiration, and this is what I do a lot, take inspiration from the ones on the box. 
So we always photograph some lovely cards to give you that inspirational idea. So I thought, right, let's try this one here, should we? Should we give this little one here a go? Oh, yes. So we haven't used that little bit. So if we open this up, I'm going to get out my uh, stamp set. So we've got the stamps that I've just been using. We're going to use a little bit of the die cuts as well. I'm we going to need some of the ribbon for that one. Nope, don't need any ribbon, but we do need some of the gems. Oh, the ribbons are lovely, aren't they? Right, so, and then we're going to obviously need the card blanks and we're going to need some of the papers that go with it as well. So the paper, there it is, it's that one there. I do quite, I do quite like that one. And then you'll see that that marries in perfectly with a lot of these lovely shades. There we go. Look how well that's going to mat and layer together. And awesome. this is the beauty. If it's all your papers, but then all the mats and layers to really finish it off. So what you're going to do is you're going to get all the bits you need out of your box to get you started, Joe, okay? And let's have a little look. I'm going to start with a bit of stamping. So I've got some, some of the stamping card. And I know I said this earlier, but just to buy a pack of stamping card, because stamping card's really great quality. Here it is, my stamping bit. Um, just to buy a pack of the stamping card, you'd be looking at 9 99 for a full A4 size. Now, I know this isn't a full A4 size, but even you don't quite often when you're stamping, you don't need A4. So just the value in the stamping card alone is absolutely fantastic to get you started, Joe. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using this, and I've got my, really important this, if you're going to colour them in with any of your tri-blends, you want your alcohol-proof dye. So you must get the alcohol-proof one. And we do them in, uh, oh, I've got it all over here. We do them in uh, black and also like shades of brown, shades of grey as well. But even onto the stamping card, you're going to get a really nice crisp finish. So I'm going to just pop this down here and we'll have that best wishes on there. So I'm going to stamp that down there. And then I'm going to go into my own little world, Joe. And I'm, I'm going to get the box out there, right? So I'm going to follow what's on the box. I thought you meant the hands box for a minute. I thought you were going to stand on the hands box. The hands box, that would be really <laughs> funny. I'm going to put this up here and I'm going to draw my inspiration from the colours in there. I've got a pink out, but I think I might get the coral blend out here because obviously I've got my whole box. So I think I'll get the box out and I will choose the coral blend. Uh, coral, coral. Please tell me you're in here, Coral. There it is. The coral blend. Oh, no, I've just, I've just put, there it is, coral blend to do a little bit of blending on there as well. Awesome. Right, you, you'll have lost us now, Joe. Right, colouring totally coma us. initiated. Uh, Joan Louise C on YouTube says, got a package on the way today. I've got no idea what's in it because I've got so many orders on the way. It's all part of the fun. So excited. <laughs> I love that. Uh, sort of like uh, potluck uh, crafts companion deliveries. Uh, Josie says as well, I, uh, I just keep ordering. I'm loving uh, the product. Um, and also a stunning card uh, as well, Mary, uh, says Marianne. Uh, yes, don't forget, loads coming up still this week here on Crafters TV. Absolutely loads for you to shop for. That Softer Side of Life show tomorrow sounds really exciting. It's uh, going to be ben awesome. Sarah. You have to get up early for it, guys. I'm just saying you have to. You'll be gutted if you miss that one live. You will Because if you're live, then I can take your questions live. So who, let me know in the comments who's got a filing machine and who's going to be getting up to watch with me tomorrow. Oh, yes. Who's going to be watching that show tomorrow? Do let me know. Uh, East Coasters, I mean, you're all right. 8 a.m. I'm, that's the cutoff for me, you know, 8 a.m., uh, Sarah. <laughs> Anything before 8 a.m., well, it's luckily, dangerous territory. Luckily for you, Joe. It's one o'clock, I'll one get a lion. <laughs> so we're all good. <laughs> Absolutely. My, uh, I'm not the best morning person. Uh, I'll just put it out there. Uh, so it's lovely that we only come to you here in the afternoon. It's like the perfect job for me, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, East Coasters, I'm looking at you. Bit of a harder challenge for you guys. 5 a.m. I think you can do it. I've got faith in you. Uh, but yeah, make sure you join Sarah and Ben tomorrow for that. Uh, are you doing the uh, later show as well tomorrow, Sarah? Of course Is I am. Is it a double, double oh, Sarah? Oh, it's double, double oh. Sarah. Double, doubles. They're like buses. I say these shows with Sarah. You wait a uh, week and a half for one and then four come along all at the same time, uh, which is awesome. There's a really awesome launch party coming out tomorrow uh, with Sarah and Ben as well. So make sure you join them both for that. Uh, Carol loves the cut and emboss folder that's in this kit. Um, and the great thing is, yes, you're going to use a cut and emboss folder in this kit. You're going to take that and you're going to use that across loads of other elements. The other bit that astounded me, Sarah, as well, was when I realised that the stuff that's in these boxes is only produced for these boxes. I always thought, oh, if you didn't get it in the box, don't worry, because that 
stamp and that embossing folder, you know, in a month's time, you're about to buy that on the website separately. But that's not nope. the way it is, is it? Absolutely not. Under no circumstances will we be ever releasing any of this stuff again. Awesome. Uh, Rose says the boxes are the best value around. I absolutely agree with you. So many of you as well letting me know that you collected these or have collected these from the start, which is super, super impressive and goes to show you, uh, you know, the quality that you're getting in here as well. Remember also that there's only kind of a lot of time really one a lot of, with a lot of the boxes only really one go to get at them because what happens is we produce a you know, finite amount uh, some of that goes into the HSN subscription service what is left over we bring straight to you here at crafters TV so if you want to get it if you want to make sure you're completing that collection if you're in the UK this is absolutely your chance to get hold of it uh, a third of the stock of it has gone uh, it will get busier and busier and busier uh, so many of you uh, i always forget this Sarah, so many of our viewers watch these shows back after it's been aired yes there's hundreds often thousands of you uh, watching us live but so many more of you uh, watch back on demand remember you can watch any of our shows back at absolutely any point that you want to uh, across on our website craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu there you can watch and shop as well at the same time don't forget which is always awesome and also if you're watching a show and you think right you know you've placed your order for this box here and you think I want to be able to find it immediately if you're watching on Facebook you can share the Facebook live and that goes onto your wall and you'll be able to come back and find it really easily I think I'm not very uh, I'm not very like down with the kids with YouTube Sarah but I think they call it <laughs> bookmarking it on YouTube. I'm not sure, I could be wrong. You're, a, you're asking the wrong one here, Joe. Yeah. That's all I can say is you're asking the wrong um, one here. I really want to download TikTok, but I just don't think I'll get it, you know. Yeah. Um, Some funny I've videos, no but I'm just not sure I'll get it. I'm not sure it's for me. I think it's a bit too, <laughs> bit too uh, you know, forward for me. A bit, a bit too forward thinking, is it? Maybe, yeah. maybe just a bit. Um, <laughs> Rosalind says, don't know if uh, foiling that early, but we'll definitely be watching. Rosalind, I think, you know, I think you can do it. Katie Henderson, Henderson she's going to be up at 5am with you, Sarah. Is that uh, right? Oh, oh, yep, she is. I wonder if there's going to be any Fabulous. Hawaiian. I wonder if we'll have any Hawaiian viewers that will be up with you at 3am. Who knows? Oh, I tell you what, I will be super impressed if we have super. You'll be you'll be well on down with the brownie points with Sarah if you do that, guys. I can tell you that yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. We were asking someone. Uh, we were asking people the other day. Um, where how they watch so we had a bit of a straw poll about how people watch on their phone their iPad their laptop their PC the big telly right uh, and we had a lot of people that watch in bed on their phone sneakily uh, one lady in Hawaii watches us in bed whilst her husband's asleep next to her oh, <laughs> at 3am and also at 6am <laughs> that is a fabulous 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 level of commitment it really really is isn't it right now did you see I've stamped the best and then I've die cut out wishes so you've got best wishes and also my little uh, my little oh do you know what would be awesome for my wishes i'm going to do a little dot with the uh with the eye here so there's my best wishes i'm going to put a little gem in the middle of this one here right there we go a little one goes in the middle of there and then i'm again i'm just copying off the kind of the oh what do you call it joe the the picture on the book right and I'm just taking my inspiration from here and just, ju just, just, it's not copying, it's taking inspiration from. And I really want to emphasize to people that it is absolutely totally fine to do that. I don't want you to think that for any reason we would ever have a problem with anyone copying the cards that we do. That's what we do them for, guys. We, we go to all this trouble to give you all the ideas of what you can do with our stuff. There you go, look I'm at that. Confused. I quite, quite love how that's come together. Mary's going to be watching at 6am, so I wonder where Mary's going to be watching at 6 Maybe is it central time? Is that 6am? I get very confused. a lot of time zones, isn't there, in the US? So let's have a look. So you've got, uh, yeah, so East Coast is five Coast. hours different to here. Yeah. Then you've got uh, Central Time, then which is six hours central, different. Central, right. Then Mountain Time, which oh, is seven hours mountain different. Mountain Time, that's the one I always forget about. Mountain Time, seven hours different. Right. And then you've got uh, you've got the West Coast, Pacific Time. Eight hours difference. Eight hours difference and to then here. Ten hours in Hawaii. Ten hours to Hawaii. So One day, Joe, we'll get over there and we'll get to like uh, tell everybody we're in Hawaii doing a show. Oh, or something. can you imagine? I we feel can, but dream. I think we do need to do some sort of crafts companion road trip. That's what we just need oh, to do. Oh, I thought we he was going to be on about the cruise again. We could do it at the end. Of, I thought we I could thought do it at the end of the cruise. Coming. We go transatlantic, Southampton to New York, and then we could do <laughs> Route 66 from there. I think it'd be a great way to see the country. <laughs> I love how you've got everything planned, Joe. And now it's got everything planned. We, we are. So in, we live in such a Zoom generation now. We could just 
could have a little studio in the back of the RV and we could just zoom all the all the shows in, I think. People, we could send the product to each town as we go, pick it up on the way. It'd be a lovely idea. <laughs> I love your optimism, Joe. I absolutely love your optimism. Thank you. So, uh, right. So here we go. Let's have a look. I've done my... I've spent ages on the topper. Well, I'm saying I've spent ages. I've spent a whole good seven or eight minutes on the topper. Just got my mat and layer for in the background. And then that, I'm just going to slightly tilt off. And I love how I... And it, it wasn't like this on the box. I've added that little glow around the outside what, myself. Someone was asking in the comments the what colour you use for the little glow. I did the use a True Blue number one. So TB1. And I just think that's... It, it covers a multitude of sins if you go out the lines, but actually I did. I just thought it looked really nice. And then how we, how nice and simple was that? Let's have a look. I've knocked me little dosh. You should be going in the centre of that. And I just think the gems really finish that off nicely, don't they? Really beautiful. I love oh. it. I know it's not the technical term. On the wonk. I don't know what the actual on the wonk. Term. Is that yeah. the technical term on the wonk? I copied that off the one on the front of the package did as well. You? Yeah, well, look, look at it. I, I haven't done that. But this is what we do, right? So there's the one on the front of the packaging. I, cop I took my inspiration from that and added, I just moved my curl down a little bit and I added a couple of extra little gems there and instead of doing best take stamped I just stamped it straight onto the base and then put my die cut wishes on. I think it looks absolutely Quite like that. blooming marvellous. Um, very very busy on that subscription box. I need to go back and give you the details again of the 12x12 card pads as well. Remember these are not paper pads they are card pads because they are 230 GSM, which is a really awesome, it's double sided guys as well remember, it's a really awesome weight, it's a white core as well, so if you want to uh, emboss it and sand it back and do any of those things, absolutely you're going to be able to do that as well. There's your cool tones, I love the warm tones and I love the lipstick red, that pillar box red uh, that you've got in here as well, which one is it? Oh, here it comes, here it comes, that one, oh, isn't that, oh, it's just luscious isn't it, I think it's just the most gorgeous gorgeous red that you've got there in that warm tones one that one uh, we've also then got as well uh, the sunflower it's a really interesting array of colors from those uh, oranges really lovely terracottas through to those beautiful lemons the pale lemons into those gorgeous greens as well there that you've got really really lovely uh, color combination and then this one just here which is your neutral tone so you've got your blacks into your greys through to your pale greys uh, right the way through uh, into those whites uh, there as well nice to have a paper pad that has white included in it as well this stock this um card stock as well it's textured but whereas you know the one earlier i was talking about in the um nature's garden collection was quite a coarse texture isn't it it's very textured yeah. this isn't this is like a really fine expensive French linen in which is what this is like it's really really uh, very gorgeous so it just adds a little bit of interest it's almost like it's not obviously it's like perforated on the surface it's really really lovely quality uh, as you expect 19.99 each if you want to grab those or 24.95 36 sheets in each of them lots of you going for all four of those uh, at the moment which is a really popular way to make sure you get all of them. Uh, very, very busy. Uh, any, um, oh, Sharon Callis says her bags are packed. She says you had me at Hawaii, Sarah. I will be there. Maybe that's <laughs> where we could do your, um, uh, maybe that's where we could do your um, your masterclass. Ro says, Joe, would you ever consider doing a Facebook Live for crochet? Do you know what, Ro? No one's ever asked me, but absolutely I would. Uh, she says, like, I bought the little animal companions and would love to do a crochet along with you. Do you know what? I'll ask someone tech savvy in the team because it's a little bit hard to do it on your phone because you need to like see it sort of close up. Do you know what? Let, let's do it, Ro. Let's, uh, let's um, before Christmas, let's have a nice little get together and do a little bit of crochet <gasps> you know what you should do? on Facebook Live. Yeah, or oh, you should teach everyone how to do the rainbows. Oh, Joe made me yes. a lovely, he made the kids a lovely rainbow. We still have it hanging up in the front of That was beautiful. Oh, actually. yes. Or maybe we could do a bauble because baubles are quite <gasps> easy to do as well. Ooh. You do like crochet over a bauble, basically. You make little crochet baubles. We'll have a think about it. Uh, we will definitely um, see if we can make that happen before Christmas. Great idea. Thank you for that, Ro. Um, Cherry says she's waiting for that large foil plate to arrive. She will definitely be joining you uh, in the morning. It's a date, Cherry. It's it a date. It is a date. Karen wants to know as well. Quick question. What is the difference between stamping card and Nina card? 
Okay, so Nina card is what you're going to use to do all of your blending on. Stamping card is the one that just grabs the colour really, really well and you can do all of your inking techniques on it. So if you're doing your alcohol pen blending, it's Nina card that you want. If you're just going to stamp and then die cut or use your... If you want to do a lot with your inking techniques, the stamping card is perfect. Now, I sometimes do colour with my alcohol pens on the stamping card, but the best results with the stamping... So, like, early today when we did that show with the woodland animals... All those fabulous results are what you do on the Nina cardstock. Awesome. I hope that clears that up for you. Uh, Hannah Law says as well, my textures cardstock just arrived. It is beautiful. I uh, might try making some little purses with that as well. And Susie too, he says, Joe, great idea uh, for the Facebook. Linda's saying as well, yeah, great idea. I need to learn to crochet. We'll make it happen. I feel quite flattered that someone's asked me to do a Facebook Aww. live on something crafty, Sarah. Oh, you're so cute. Well, it's, it's after that comment I would Charlie made. <laughs> Absolutely. You that's what it is. You know, you need something crafty doing. Can we ask Joe, oh. mummy? Can we ask Joe? Maybe we could do a Facebook live on mending pop-up books as well while we're there we get charlie over <laughs> get him involved <laughs> oh bless you right do you think i've got time for one last card oh on i my think so box? right let's have a little look i thought should we do something with the because we've only done the one card with the um oh what you call it with this with the embossing folder and actually let's get the ribbons out and let's get our ultimate out and do some uh, lovely ribbon tying with the ultimate and then i love this is one of my favorite papers in the set how gorgeous is that one beautiful it matches an embossing folder that we did back in the day as well and i could just see you using like a portion of that with the base and the top so you could actually get two lovely cards out of that one so i'm going to do that and i'm also going to get some of the um let's have a look some nice nice lilac out let's have a go embossing the lilac with the embossing folder right so your embossing folders draw are three inches these are my little trimmer right so they're three inches wide so can you see let's have a little look i'll just check there two let's have a look two two and three quarters so actually i'm going to cut my cardstock to two and a half inches wide and that will be a perfect size to go and fit through there let's do two and a half by say five and we can trim it down at the end right so here we go, I'm going to take this, I'm going to pop it inside the folder so that we get the butterfly and then also some of the other elements on there. So can you see, I'm going to add those other elements onto my butterfly and I can see where that's cutting out beautifully well. Now, in case you missed it earlier, what I was explaining to everybody is, if you're going to use your Gemini Mini with this, what you're going to need to do is add in that purple shim. Same when we get to the midi on Friday, you're going to need to add the purple shim in with the midi, okay? And then when we take this out, can you see you've got that very, it's lovely uh, embossing on there, Joe, but you can't really see it until you start and add a little bit of ink. So I've got my plum jam here. I'm going to add, let's have a look, I've got my nice little rounded one and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that ink, Joe, and show you. Should I show you that technique again where we cover over the wings? So oh, I, I love in, that one. Put that there and then if I do this, now you can see, there you can see the detail kind of coming in there on the butterfly, can't you? So I'm just going to add a little bit of detail on the butterfly and then pick up some of this lovely detail on some of the embossing that we've got as well on there. Really, really beautiful. Uh, and I think... It's a great thing about these boxes, and I enable you, you know, to get out other things that you've got if you love your ink pads. Uh, loads of the ink pads are in stock over on the website. Definitely go over there if you need to stock up on those as well. Um, and I think cut and emboss fold is something we do so well here uh, at Crafters Companion. It looks beautiful. Business. Re nice and soft and subtle okay so that's that now what i've done is joe is i've already stamped one of those uh, reeds again so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get my colors out and i'm going to do a little bit of coloring and i'm going to use the pale pinks and i'm going to use the alpine greens this time so you let me know what everyone's saying in the comments mm, and i'll absolutely. do a little bit more of most the, uh, the i mean most people are talking about crochet to be honest um <laughs> I know, we set something off here. Fran says, I'm crocheting whilst watching this show. What are you crocheting, Fran? I'd love to see. Uh, but yes, lots of people talking about this box. Uh, just a loads of love. Lots of people sharing ideas and talking about all the boxes as well uh, that they've had before. I'd love to know, you know, just before the end of the show, what's your favourite box of all the ones that we've done? Because obviously Ooh, this is number that's 30. that's a good question. Yeah, this is number 30, so I'd love to know. Well, I wouldn't like to answer that. Mm, what your favourite one has been? Oh, well, that's the other thing. I did... Um, I did I did really enjoy the quilling and I must say we did a one once with our metallic pens what and it had some gorgeous stamps in it. What was the one we did with like, was it the Everyday Edgeables? Oh, I, yes, I love that, that one. 
That would oh, what Craig you've got some of I that can remember doing that show. That was crazy. It really was. I think we've still got some of the everyday edibles in why did it sell out? I think it might have gone again. Uh, you can go and have Let's a look, have a look at what website. you could have won, George. Just tease everybody. <laughs> I know. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. I must have learned to stop doing that. Um, but yes, I'd love to know what your favourite one is of all the boxes uh, that you've had. It is really busy still on this box at the moment. $24.99, whether it's pounds or dollars, you get it for £20 or dollars if you are a platinum member. Uh, as well so uh do you think about that lynn says uh oh i love to crochet rainbows uh i love the crochet rainbows that joe made uh that i gave it a go once and i got used to doing them i made myself a purple one <gasps> a purple <gasps> rainbow well i think that we need we need to a picture sending maybe absolutely absolutely we do um i've actually got to start crocheting something this week you know i've well, got to make uh, some mittens for our friends uh, dan and emily uh, for their little baby barney uh, i've Aww. got some yarn uh, for little barney bancroft so i need to make, i need to get started on those do you ever have that thing uh, do you ever have that thing i mean i could be there a while have you seen the size of him sir he's absolutely <laughs> huge he's only a year he's honestly he's the uh, he looks like you'd see him driving a jcb or something he's massive um do you ever do that thing, Sarah, where you sort of neglect something for a little while and then you get a strong urgent urge desire to, to do, do it, it immediately? That's how I feel about crocheting at the moment. Like, I haven't done any for months and I just need to get some done. So that's what I'm going to be doing on my days off, as well as watching the softer side of life tomorrow, of course, yes, as well. you've got to be inspired tomorrow, Joel. Carlene says the very, very first one was her favourite. <gasps> What was the really? first ever one? So the one? first ever one that we did was a, 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 like a very simple introduction to edibles. Ah, mm. which makes sense because we are, you know, world famous for our edibles, aren't we? We I are think indeed we world do, famous now. We do the best edibles in the world, I think. You I know, saw no somebody as, as well asking earlier, Joe, a comment was like, how do I get back in the subscription in the US? So HSN offer the subscription in the US and they only offer the opportunity to subscribe kind of once in a blue moon. So I don't know when the next opportunity to subscribe was there one, is going to be. the craft day before last? Was there an in then? There was, and was, I don't know when the there? next one is we had thousands of you join the subscription on the last one so people do honestly people absolutely love it but if you if you're not you're gonna have to just keep buying them individually until we get to the and it's the same price but you're gonna have to keep buying them individually until we get the next um to get the next enrollment opportunity they call mm, them absolutely and uh you know uh, that's why it's always good to keep it tuned to craft tv because any surplus that we do have you know the little bit extra that we sometimes get we always bring it here to craft tv so you'll know that uh, you'll be able to get hold of it. The stencil box was Yvonne's favourite. Yes, I love, love that, that one. one. Too. Uh, Teresa says, Joe, that's a very loaded question. I could never choose. <laughs> um, <laughs> Linda says, the flower forming foam box is oh, my favourite. Oh, yes, that, that one was lovely. I think that was box number. Was that? 13, 13 or 14. This could be your chosen subject on uh, Mastermind. This could be, you couldn't, know, it? couldn't it? Yep. Well, this, I know because no, the team I, worked so hard on them and obviously I'm involved in uh, the design of every box and signing them off and whatnot. So I, I know what we've got coming in the pipeline mm. and I think that some of these boxes are just wonderful, especially I, for newbies. I don't know what's coming in the pipeline. I'm not allowed. You know, it's a, that's, I'm outside the circle of trust when it comes to no, uh, the craft boxes because I've got a big mouth, I'm afraid. Yep. Um, <laughs> At uh, least you know why it is, George. I do know why it is. Patricia says as well, I like the stamp and die uh, number three. I also really love the foam flowers as well. Terry says, I'm not sure which is my favourite subscription box, but I really did enjoy the button box uh, that came <gasps> yes, out. Yes, cute as a button. Was cute that number... I think that one might be number eight, might have been. Right. Uh, she says, I made 17 cards from that collection. Wow. Ooh, love that one. And the thing is, you know, we talk about making 24 cards. You might not make 24 cards out of this collection. I know you're thinking, well, Joe, what do you mean I might not make 24 cards? You might just take elements of this and take it into other projects that you're already working on. That might be how you use it up. And then you might take the card blanks and you might take them uh, and use them on a completely separate project. So we're not saying that you've got to make 24 cards just solely from this collection. You know, it plays really nicely with all of the other collections that we bring you as well. So there's loads of different ways that you can use it. And I think the great thing is if you're a beginner, absolutely, you're gonna open this box, you're going to go to craftscompanionbox.com and you're going to make up a lot of these as they are intended. 
But at this kind of value, I think a lot of you more experienced crafters, maybe you're using these as stash builders. Maybe you're gonna take these papers into other collections that you already own. Maybe you will make a few cards up uh, in this style as well. But maybe like the reef, for instance, you'll take that into a load of scrapbooking projects. So it really is fun. And I think sometimes, sorry, it doesn't take much, does it, to re-energize you. You know, sometimes no. our creative energies just need a bit of a jump start, don't they? Yep. And a little box like this that's got a load of different bits in it can really help to do that, I think. I think we should rename it a Mojo Kicker. A mojo kicker. A mojo, I love a it. A crafty mojo kicker. Look at that. Sarah says a hands to the rescue. I've just done a nice bit of simple kind of matting and lay, um, fussy cutting there. What I have got is a base card with a little bit of the matting layer. So there's the one where I've done the little piece that we've got on there. And look, that is just going to go just tuck it underneath there and I'm going to just lay it up now I do think we've just about got time haven't we Joe? because I want to show everybody how to do some really nice um layering up of some ribbons on your ultimate right mm, absolutely Carol says her favorite one was the dogs in the umbrella box dogs in the umbrella the dogs in the umbrella Dogs in the umbrella. Oh, the little cute character one. Where it had a dog inside the umbrella. I know what oh. that was. Funnily enough, the box wasn't called Dogs in the Umbrella. I was right? thinking. But Sorry. I know exactly what she means, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, Sherry's look. is over the edge, 28, her favourite. Clarice says she loves the first one also. Uh, Zena says the March set was her favourite. The sparkling pots. <gasps> loves the stamps in that box. Sparkling pots. It was a good one, that one. Three good whole one, pots. One. You've got like £15 worth of sparkling in that one. I can't yeah, quite yeah. believe Straight it. Up. Honestly, we do the best value. Right, here we go, Jo. So, those of you who watch the Ultimate Masterclasses will know exactly how to do all of this. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it to have a little look. We'll get, we'll do the large, we'll do a large ribbon with this outer one here. And then we'll go medium size. Let's get you stuck back around here. We'll go medium size in the pink. All right. So that's back around there. I, I love to keep all my ribbons organised. Uh, and what I love is, because I'm a bit of a ribbon fiend, Joe, I'll be really honest, okay? Uh, but I love that all of these always coordinate. So they always coordinate exactly right with the gem colours that you've got. So watch this. If, if we want to do a bow, I'm going to go with a mid-size one first. And I'm just going to wrap around, cross it over. The piece at the top goes underneath, right? You come back over the top, and then all you're going to do is tie a knot, right? And that will give you the absolutely perfect bow. Now, while it's wow. still connected on there, what you can do is you can either cut it like this, right? So and then that goes out to that part there. And then you can manoeuvre everything into place. And then there is your first bow. There's our lovely board to go on, on, on the front of our card. Now, if we want to go slightly larger than the next one, watch, we just move the peg up to the next hole, right? So we just move it up one. We're going to go slightly larger with the ribbon. And this, now I'll show you how I, because I've learned how much ribbon today, but if you don't want to waste your ribbon, tie it straight from here. So watch, we can go around and cross, and then I'm getting this to around about that length. That's about what I want. So I can trim that to there so that I, I know I only have exactly the right amount of ribbon. So round and cross. The piece that's at the top goes underneath. You bring it back over the top and then you tie a knot. Now I'm doing mine back to front upside down so that the camera can see. So that you're having a good look from the front and from the top. Was it you saying that you can only do them upside down yes. now? <laughs> I, was, so, so I think that, I find that hilarious. Here was me trying to be really like clever and be like, oh, I'm doing it back to front upside down for the camera. But yes, I tried to <laughs> oh, do Oh, did one. I rumble you? Sorry. Yeah, you totally <laughs> rumbled me. Uh, yeah, I can't do them the right way up now because I do all of my bows for 15 years, I've done all of my bows back to front, upside down. And so it's the only way I know how to do it. <laughs> and look at this, I'm being super organised. Everything goes back in its place. And then if I bring that card in, Joe, watch what we're going to do. We're going to put a little blob of glue down there, OK? And we're going to go on with our first bow, first of all down here, all right? And then while that's just setting in place, I'm going to come on with a tiny little bit more. And I'm going to bring this in here and just gel that into there at the same place. I'm just holding them down, using my nails and not actually touching any hot glue, Joe. You will oh, be very pleased to hear. you live very dangerously, <laughs> Sarah, honestly. <laughs> right, and then Extreme that's all settled now. crafting. So that's now set into place with my little bows perfectly underneath each other. 
lifted wings on my butterfly. Doesn't that just add a lovely finishing touch there? Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. And the great thing is, loads of inspiration for you uh, in here, which is absolutely uh, awesome. So uh, you can see here a couple of the other uh, cards that have been made here. And remember, these are the ones that are following the uh, inspiration that's included. You're gonna come up with your own unique creations using this box, I have no doubt uh, whatsoever. Anyone that's sat on the fence getting a sore bum about this subscription box, Sarah, uh, what would you say to them? Well, come and have a look at what we've done, okay? So I've done that card there. I did a nice simple one that we just copied off the front of the packaging. I did the one, oh, I did the one with that lovely wreath where we did all of our practice colouring. How gorgeous is that one there? And then also I did that one with the butterfly. So we've done some absolutely beautiful cards with this box. But even though we always say Monday Makers is about doing some advanced card making techniques, those were really, really simple. And this is what I want you to understand, no matter what your level of crafting, these boxes are designed to take people from a very, very beginner right up to advanced, which is why we do all of those video tutorials on our crafterscompanionbox.com. And you go and watch all the video tutorials and you can literally learn step by step how to do even the most advanced projects with them. And it just gives you all the tools you need. Even if you're just looking for, as you said, your stash builder, so $24.99, and if you're a you know, gold, platinum member or whatever, you're getting your discount on top of that. It's a brilliant way to kind of get loads of cards and envelopes, your stamping cards, your gems, your ribbons, your pearls, everything you need to build your stash. But then you've got those gorgeous dies, embossing folders, stamps. That is the value of the kit to start with. So it's really giving you everything you need to get started, but within like a collection. So everything everything works together so that when you get it home you are guaranteed to be able to put these together it's a little bit like you know we do like the Sarah signature collections or we're the nature's garden earlier today and everything works harmoniously so your cards are perfect but usually to do that you have to spend like a hundred plus pounds to get the whole collection this way you get the whole collection in a box already in matching Awesome, and get it, you are so, so incredibly busy on that subscription box. Very busy for the Sharon Callas items. Don't forget about the Monday Mega Deal as well. Very busy there still. And the Monday Mega Deal, unlike the other deals in our shows that last for 48 hours, Monday Mega Deal is a 24 hour limited time offer. Three quarters of it has gone. Please be quick for that. Don't forget about the 12 by 12 textured card pads, those um, hug gatefold cards as well uh, that we had on the show. It's been absolutely incredible. Sarah, you're back tomorrow, aren't you, for that awesome softer side show? For that really awesome foiling mask. So if, even if you don't do a lot of sewing, you've got a foil press machine, whether it's the new big one or the original one, tune in for that show tomorrow to learn all about foiling onto fabrics and what you can do with your foil fabrics. I promise you I've got an awesome show lined up. Uh, make sure you join Sarah and Ben for that tomorrow. Huge thanks to Sarah. Uh, don't forget to check out your baskets, of course. Uh, big thanks to the team next door in the gallery and the biggest thanks to you guys at home. Uh, I'm off now for a few days. I'll see you back here for four more days of fun on Friday uh, with a double Sarah day. So uh, take care and I'll see you back here on Friday. Bye-bye.